The following program is a collection of students talking about happenings in the sports world. It is meant to be comedic informative. The opinions expressed on this show do not necessarily reflect the beliefs of their peers, their boss, or ESPN. There may be some cuss words because that's how humans in the real world talk. If you are young, please seek permission before watching any further. Hey! Why? Let's go! This show stinks, and the fact that you listen, we are very, very thankful for it. The all-time leading tackler for the Green Bay Packers. You pig! Damn it! Your friend, tell a friend something nice. Could change their life. We want that! We want that! Sport! 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 We're talking more about Paige. She went to UConn. Remember, everybody we see talking about some form of... Comes from this tiny little school. Uh-huh. UConn. Uh -huh. Scores Connecticut. So whenever you give this answer, I'd like everybody to know this is a biased response yeah, from Darius, right. which is coming out a lot through the media and being <laughs> taken as like journalism. Mm -hmm. It's like, hey, we're all shit talking right now. This is good. Yeah. This is good for sports, not bad for sports. We need this to happen more often. Yeah. Yes. With that being said, be a journalist real quick. Zach Eady's going to go at Kling Kong all night. How do you see this one go? I mean, I, I'm, I am looking forward to the Battle of the Bigs, but uh, we had Hurley on last week and that defense, man, that UConn defense is smothering. And I don't care if you're a fan of UConn or not, if you've been betting on them, if you've been watching yeah, them, you are, they man. are a covering machine. They've been dominating. I think this opened up at five and a half, already moved to seven and a half. But uh, obviously, uh, Newton, the point guard for us, his, his shots haven't really been falling, but still a playmaker. I'm excited about this one tonight. Should be a blowout. To your point, yeah, I think 16 natties in the last 30 years between the men and women. So, yeah, we're going to talk our shit. Yeah, as, and you everybody's know. getting, like, upset about it. It's like... Imagine if Diana Taurasi said, yep, I'll take Caitlin Clark over Paige every single day. Yeah. It'd be like UConn people would be like, oh, yeah. oh, oh get the hell out of our family. Yeah. That ain't how this goes. This tournament, though, March Madness, both the men's and the women's, has lived up to the hype seemingly. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's been incredible. And D-Bite kind of snuck in there. It's going to be a blow tonight. I mean, that's it's hard to believe that because finally, like you said, we got Kling Kong, the 7-2 monster versus another 7-4 ED. So I, it feels as though this is where all roads led to. Now, seven and a half points in a national championship game between two one seeds. Yep. Like, has that ever happened? Probably not. Well, because that's because Dan Hurley's got that dumps in the dragon. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah which, you, which you can respect, of course. But Edie's been waiting for this moment. And when you lose to a 16 seed the year before, usually, and I'm saying usually because it's only happened one time before this, the year after Virginia won the natty. So maybe everything is finally lining up for Purdue. Seven and a half is a lot. And if you're UConn, UConn's been playing with their food a little bit in the first half, but they mm -hmm. have been... The, they might be the best basketball of all basketball team of all time in the second half, so maybe just do the second half line and just not even worry about it, okay? Smart. Take it home. Yeah. What do you okay. want? They, they've been unbelievable. Like, 30-0 run in the second half. NC State, they put away in the second half easily. Like, that's just been how they've been. Is anyone giving Purdue a chance? I am. Hell yeah. I, I am. Too. So am I. I love Edie. Him. Seven foot five. Yeah. Got to bet on a seven foot five. He's got, what, if he scores 52 and everyone else plays well, they win? Did you see the, what I did the last 52, time I saw yeah. a seven foot five guy? What'd you do? I exited the Royal Rumble. Smart. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Pretty smart. 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 Self-preservation. Saw a seven foot five guy. Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. <laughs> exactly. That's that. Not just I him. The, I got the hell out of it. Yeah. Not just him. The other guy that was in the ring uh, just moved an entire ring this weekend because he runs 45 miles an hour off the rope. Oh, you're talking about Braun Breaker? Yeah. 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 Big SOB. Yeah, he was also in there. He like running at me a little bit. I was also reminded last night by uh, One American Nightmare that as I was getting into the Royal Rumble, we made eye contact for an uncomfortably long amount of time. He was in the match at that time. Yeah. And uh, he was just staring at me from the ring apron as I was walking up the steps. And I was like, is Cody Rhodes about to kick me? In the face? <laughs> <laughs> is Cody Rhodes about to kick my ass? And I look inside, and there's a human that's bigger than you're supposed to be built. And I said, give me that. I'm not supposed to be here. I got my, I got my snakeskin boots on. Exactly. Me. Get me the hell out of here. And I did that. But seven foot five can really do some special things. Speaking of special, there's a tag team that's been brought back in this year, 2024. And the world has erupted because of it. Tim McAfee hasn't always been the biggest wrestling fan. I don't think he ever truly comprehended why I loved it so much as a child. But now that I'm in it, he's been paying attention to it because he's sport dad. Of course. Yeah. Good pops. One of these members of this tag team is his favorite human in entertainment. Wow. 
He's a rapper. What? Hilarious. What? Entertaining. What? Confused. What? But electrifying. And his tag team partner, he's a guy that I beat in WrestleMania in like a minute 45. Yeah. Right. Light work. Then he lost to Snoop Dogg. Oh. And I think he was on like a like a 175 match loss streak. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Then he finds his old tag team partner. They climbed a ladder. Now they're our tag team champions of Monday night. Hell yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Ron the Truth Killings and the Miz Awesome Truth. Yeah! with that yeah but you should get with this because this is where it's at what's up <laughs> yeah truth what up man what's up dude? hey you're champion a uh, champ uh, you're champion i'm champion y'all appreciate that so much see hearing that you feel that you know what i'm saying oh, yeah. and that makes every every single sweat blood and tear that we endure through this business entertainment that's what make it worth all the while i love each and every one of y'all yeah you deserve it. Yeah. i like the uh the teamness there of you too because you said uh everything we've gone through because combined have yes. you guys done the math how many years in wwe uh, combined, I have no idea. How many years have you been here? I've been here 18, 19 years. And you've been? Uh, about 18, 19 years. Jesus. So you've got like 40 yeah. years of experience in WWE, our tag team champ. Yeah. 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 Let's go. That's what it's all about. Let's and, go. And I like to say, man, like, um, Miz don't get enough credit, man. He's, 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 oh my gosh, so underrated, man. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, I did get a lot of credit when I was introduced to here. You see what I'm saying? You know what? It's about time people were chanting my name yeah! and celebrating me. I'm sick of getting booed yeah. all the time. He is somebody. <laughs> he he is somebody. Yeah. Miss. He means somebody. You smiling, dog? Yeah. <laughs> I started that chant like 18 years ago, and nobody was chanting that with me. To have it 18 years at WrestleMania 40, the biggest WrestleMania in the history of WWE, to have it here on the Pat McAfee Show, celebrating with my boy R Truth, D Buzz, all day long. Let's go! <laughs> yeah! Oh, by the way, have you guys even changed from last night? Oh, shut up! I oh, know you're the same shirt so I saw you with last shirt. night. It's a good shirt. It's a good shirt. Just have your moment and shut up, all right? Oh, on, no. did, did, is that the same shirt you were wearing yeah, last night? I'm wearing no, you the gotta same change shirt. shirt dog. No way, it's the biggest you gotta change. man ever. Right? It's uh, good no. luck. Hey, listen, UConn's head coach. Uh, what? Shirt. What? Shirt. What? Dude, you got to change. Go get another point, shirt. Dog. I got one in the back. I'll do it. Don't okay. do it. I'll he do it. Change, man. Hey, you can be there popping. By the way, want. AJ Hawk didn't want to be out here to have a conversation. Yeah, he decided to bail. I, I, there was only so many seats, and AJ was like, "I'll leave when the Miz comes." That, I thought that was rude. Oh, yeah, wow. the first really. one to volunteer. Oh, wow. I no that thanks. Was rude. Wow. We didn't oh, like Ohio it. Ohio love. All right, let's yeah. talk, let's talk though about where you're at right now. Let's talk. Uh, hot tag. Okay, in the middle of that six pack challenge ladder match or whatever, bro. What a moment. You won two times on Twice. Saturday night. 
first in history, right? Yeah, I think on so. On the biggest stage in the world. You won uh, a singles, you won a tag team match within a ladder match, and then you won the ladder match on top of that. Truth, you continue to mesmerize everybody. When you got that tag, and you got a chance to get in there? Yes. Did you feel it was going to be a special night? I felt it, dog. I saw my partner in distress. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You know what I'm saying? I'm already wounded, y'all, and he needed me. So I just extended that hand of love, dog, and he tagged and I came in. You know what I love is that you're talking about, like, you know, I needed you. I did need you, and you could have just slid in and helped me. Didn't need to be tagged in. But That's you know the what? The audience wanted that hot tag. Yep. The audience yes. wanted that John Cena come back. The audience wanted our truth to climb up that ladder and take those tag team titles, and that's exactly what he did. Almost falling, by the way. I did almost fall. But you gotta think. You know what I'm saying? One ladder broke, I had to grab another one. I saw that you helped out Damian Priest, though. You, yeah. You, oh, I wasn't trying was to help him. Oh, that was for you. That was for me, yeah. You stole it. I got okie doped. Okay. But check it out. When I got in there, you know what I'm saying? I had to go up two foot, so feet, however many more I had to go up. And the wind was blowing. Like when I went for the belt the first time, the wind said, you saw that, right? Y'all yeah. saw that, right? Yeah. So it blew it behind my back. And when I grabbed it, only thing I could think about was King Kong. Because I was going to hold on, dog. I wasn't going nowhere. Yes, I held on and I grabbed it. And you don't realize how heavy these titles are. Feel that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. My God. Go ahead. Oh my God. Two of them. Itself. Look at Two of them, y'all. Wow. And they're hanging. And they're hanging. And if nice. you're not, you gotta take you gotta take wow. the whole thing off. I the don't The whole just, thing? Yeah. Hey, I'm honored to be holding yeah. our truce tag team. You look good with it too. No, not as good as you. Not as good as you. Oh, not as good as you. How'd we celebrate this? Uh the Miz was drunk on our bus last night. Yep. How did you celebrate this thing, Truth? Oh uh, man, I'm here with my son and his two friends, man. We went out to eat. And um, I just talked about this all night. You know what I'm saying? The experience. Um WrestleMania 40, man, just like being here, uh, hearing the appreciation that I've been getting from people, man, has been overwhelming. Reuniting with Miz, man, and just feeling the love, Pat. Hell yeah. We need another song. Yes, we do. Oh, we do need, y'all need another song? Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. we do. Oh, I just, making the cut is out now. Okay, Truth Makes Bangers. People don't know that because of how good he is at wrestling. Everybody just assumes he can only do one thing. Truth Makes Absolute Bangers. I watch a documentary on you. Your story is one that people are going to learn from and love forever. Now, let's speak about oh. a story here, Miz. Okay. Um, just within the last couple of years, <laughs> I fresh out of a bus. Hadn't been in a ring in six months. Came out of May and just beat your ass. Yikes. Okay, and just beat your ass. Then I was in a $10,000 suit. I was there to host WrestleMania. It was I was not suit. there to have matches, especially surprise matches. And not only that, you literally had George Kittle help you beat me. No, so it wasn't like. You egged him oh, on. I didn't cheat. I didn't cheat. Did he have help? He had help. I didn't cheat. I didn't cheat. That's oh, not oh, called George cheating. George Kittle plan. didn't hop the barrier. He and pushed George Kittle. Yeah, Kittle. you yeah. pushed him. Your tag team partner was in his line. I'm a dumbass era. You yeah. know? I'm and a, he tried. I have never George been Kittle. a dumbass. He's I've never, never been, been a dumbass. In that era. I've Jeez. always been never, the smartest in the Never. Race. Race. Well, he don't, he's allergic to being a dumbass. That's right. Yeah. He is, y'all. Well, maybe, maybe just more of a jackass then. Yeah, yeah most of Who are you? Uh, yeah, dog. You know and why are you in WWE 2K24? Why you know are you? And who are, and how are you these, baby. a wrestling Ahoy technician they know who are in you? a wrestling ring? Tell you. Him, Miz. <laughs> Miz, look, I know it's going to be a tough pill to swallow. 81 overall in the game. Hey, that's, that's hard fought. Did you see my 2023? It wasn't really good. Okay. I think I had three wins the whole year. To get it 81, I was happy. Hold on. Okay, let's go back to Oh, that. now swallow that. Now you're a champion. Yes. Okay? Oh. You're on top of the world. You got, Definitely. You got people saying Miz is awesome. How does it feel? This is like, like it's got to feel pretty good. Can I be truly it's honest with you? It's a childhood dream of you to have this. This, is, this is really weird. I'm not used to getting cheered. I honestly have no idea what to do, what to say, because I want to be liked. I enjoy, I've thrived for it for so long. And uh, yeah, I think see? all you want in WWE is earn yeah. respect and get the respect that you fought for your entire career. To yeah. hear the fans now, to be with him, it's been truly an honor and it's been incredible and I've been loving every second of it. Hey, do not cry. I'm not going to cry. I'll be all right. Connor's well, got a question. Truth, funny enough, speaking of crying, uh, last night, uh, I don't know if you saw, but your childhood hero, John Cena comes in, saves the day. When, when something like that happens, is that where you do get emotional? Do, would you kind of go back to when you were a kid watching John growing up? Or oh, what are man. the feelings when you see something like that? I'm glad you asked that question. I did cry. Okay. You know what I'm saying? 
bro, I used to, every Saturday morning, I would sit there, you know what I'm saying, and watch John Cena. Why is everybody laughing? They, they, they were doing the same. They were doing the same damn thing. Every Saturday morning, do yeah. them open challenges, dog. You can't see me. Bro, it was a moment in time for me, man. Yeah. Did you like he comes out, helps Cody? We're yes. Pumped, we're pumped about Cody Rhodes finishing his story. Oh, my gosh, man. Cody. <laughs> Cody Rhodes, y'all. My childhood hero, John Cena. Get to him. It's a little slow start. I didn't yeah. expect that. A little bit. Yeah, yeah. They might That's be running out of juice. They might be running out of juice. No, nah, Cody deserved that, dog. I agree, but I'm saying they might be running out of juice. No, nah, y'all didn't run out of no juice, are you? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? There it is. Okay, Still we got, got it. it. I mean, if we were talking about the main event, I, dare I say that that was the best main event I've ever seen in WWE wow. WrestleMania history. Wow. You got to see everything. The fact, a lot of people were like, I want Stone Cold Steve Austin. I love that it was The Undertaker. Yes! Because The Undertaker is the locker room leader, is the yes. person that has always put a, if he puts a stamp on you, that means more than everything as a WWE superstar. Yes. And the fact that Undertaker was out there to help, Cody Rhodes says, hey, we have a new face. We have a new era. And this is Cody Rhodes' Tell era. Tell him, man! Okay, Truth, you've been here 18, 19 years. Yeah. Cody Rhodes' era. You know, whenever you get that title, the company is kind of placed... On your back! What should we know about the guy who's about to carry the company a little bit from your perspective? I think he's, he's matured now. He's a whole different Cody Rhodes. Uh, finishing a book, finishing a story, dog, is only room to, you know what I'm saying, for a new one to elevate. So I think we're going to see a lot of good stuff from Cody Rhodes coming up. How about you, Miz? You know, it's hard. He lives on the road, this guy, Cody. He's everywhere. We all do. He loves, no, yes. or not. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying, he's, <laughs> since what, I mean, he, as soon as he came back, he was like three house shows, three, like every single week, even through the torn peck. Man. Obviously, he goes out and does it. He recovers. He's back, same exact schedule. Like, feels like he's obviously been built to do this, but it is kind of cool to watch, like, Michael Cole get choked up. He's like, crying out there then you're seeing a lot of people that have been around the business a long time crying like in the back for cody for his family yeah i feel like that's a sense of the entire company almost. Uh, i remember seeing cody's first match at ohio valley wrestling when we were in developmental and then i watched his journey from dashing cody Rhodes to having an ugly mustache to stardust yeah. leaving trying to find a way to become a main eventer coming back to wwe and saying you know what i am a main eventer i'm ready for this Failing the first time at the first WrestleMania, I think, only made him stronger and made his fan base stronger and made us all want to yearn for it, yearn for it much, much more. And that's exactly what we did. We wanted it, we needed it, and he had to do it at this WrestleMania. And that's exactly what he did. He finished the story. He Very went away. Nice. Very aggressive tattoo was placed on his neck. Yep. Yeah. But it Big is awesome. One. It is awesome. Yeah. Ty has a question for you, champions. Yeah, just for you guys both. Okay, listen, like Miz, I understand. You're you understand. People, you know, you're the champion now, okay, but people have always wanted to kick your ass. People have always kind of not been able to stand you. Truth, you're you're as baby of a face as you can get. Everyone loves you. Everyone loves you. But my dad, you? you're my dad's favorite. Bingo. You're exactly. your dad's favorite. Favorite by far. What's up, Dad? Exactly. On all the TV. All the TV, he said any other form of entertainment, you're his favorite human. Oh, I'm coming over for Thanksgiving next year, right? Uh, okay, there you go. Right, I mean, you're cool. welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. yeah. You'll be at my house. How are you guys going to flip that switch in your head now from going from, hey, one of the greatest nights of your professional lives that, I mean, now, now the real work starts, and you're going to have that target on your back yep. every single week. How, how do you flip that switch mentally and kind of, you know, go get what's yours now? Well, WrestleMania is always our new year. This is the start of our new year, and we plan on taking these titles and being fighting champions. I think we always hear, uh, we're gonna be a fighting champion. We're gonna take on everyone and anyone. But it's about elevating these titles, elevating the tag team division, and making sure that we're elevating everyone and giving everyone what they want. And that is moments that will last a lifetime, that will stand the test of time. We gave it to them at WrestleMania. We're gonna start it here at Monday Night Raw at Wells Fargo tonight. Hell yeah. Well said. That's a great, That's a great, answer. great answer. That was a really good answer. Yes. I was like, press conference answer. Wow. wow. I'm pretty good at press like conference, Pat. Yeah, he's really good. good. Yeah, he I like that. Y'all cool, right? Who, me and Miz? Yeah. Yeah, I beat his ass like a minute 40. I, cool now. You cheated. Boy, you were a bad guy. 
You should have been booed out of the building. You should still be booed out of the building, but somehow people love you. Tiny <laughs> balls. Tiny <laughs> balls. Whoa. Tiny balls. Oh, that's not tiny nice. Balls. Oh. Tiny balls. Hey, by the way, that was a too. really dud of a chant. I agree. The only people that were yeah, doing yeah, it were yeah. these guys right here. I agree. That's your the baby face. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They think, you, they think you got, got big balls now. They love my him. wife. He I is somebody. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Gigantic. <laughs> yes. Well, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Congrats on the championship. And uh, can't wait to watch you guys defend them week in, week out. 30 to 40 minute matches every Boom. single time. And, and may I say, you guys are the best on ESPN yes. and everywhere. Like, you guys sit there and try hey, to be humble. Down. I'm not going to allow you to be humble. You guys have made ESPN fun, exciting, and it's a lot of fun to watch Thanks. you guys. I love the camaraderie between all of you. You can tell it's a friendship, and it's amazing because when you're sitting at home and you're watching, you're like, I got boys like that, and I talk like that, and I love seeing it on ESPN. You see there? He said something nice about very all kind, of y'all. Very kind. Oh, right. Change your shirt. Change your shirt. Change your shirt. We Ladies and gentlemen. Change it. I, I thought I was going to get I some knew. sort of animal I on your shirt. Yeah. I thought we were going to get a flamingo. An animal. Yeah. You don't think you're an animal You don't think you're an animal today? You son of a bitch. It's a great shirt you wore yesterday. I don't get a flamingo today. I don't care. I don't get some sort of lion or dragon. No. I'm repping for Eamon. Ladies and gentlemen. Our Raw Tag Team Champions. Awesome shirt. Awesome. Hey, we'll play the music longer than in Mania. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, big time. Our truth does. AJ, welcome back. Uh, we told Miz right to his face that you hated him. That's just how it's going to go. He's a baby face now, though, so let's remember that. He's representing Ohio very well with his uh, tag team champion. He is now. I mean, I, I know Miz doesn't like to, to spread a lot of nice uh, things our direction, so that was very nice of him. But I've been watching Miz since the real world days, back in the day, way back in the uh -huh. day. So, yeah, I've been, I've been on the, the Miz train for a long, long time. So that's the thing about us with the Miz. Mm -hmm. We, generation have literally seen him since the birth of The Miz right. on The Real World. So like whenever we meet him or see him, we fire off a question from one of the last 30 years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then he's gonna, well, my view on it, and then he gives his entire story on it. What a legend. I'm happy for The Miz, I'm happy for R-Truth. They've beat, they've gotten their asses beat and their bodies beat down for decades now. Oh yeah. yeah. And now they're champs again, and the people love them. Congrats. Hey, both of you deserve the hell out of this. Congrats, Baze and Archer. Big news happening today. There's a solar eclipse happening. Yep. Whoa. Okay, it's good. Yep. Moon is coming right in front of the sun. Yes. Okay. Oh. Boom. For how long? Like you're more of a door than a window. Everybody's <laughs> going to be saying to the moon. It's a couple hours, allegedly. Indianapolis, Indiana is the hub of the best view of the solar eclipse, allegedly. We're clearly not there. We have reached <laughs> out to Cantor, you know, of uh, the Weather Channel, yeah. see if he could stop by and let us know what this means. This is supposed to be absurd. It's supposed to be insane. They've been hyping this thing up all over the place. And I think there's rockets getting sent into the sky. What the hell what? is going on with the solar eclipse of the heart? Yeah, they're fi they're firing up rockets to try and discover some sort of invisible matter that will unlock secrets of the universe. That okay. is real. There, that is real. The particle collider. They're also yeah, running. Yeah, they're firing that thing up. They're firing that thing up during the solar eclipse. I'm dead serious. Yeah. This is what why yeah. they're doing. NASA that. also Elon? wants you to study your animals today because animals do that's weird shit during the eclipse. That's their that's their Just reasoning. like a thunderstorm too. Is this two K? Is this two K again? Is that how they're acting about this? Uh, some people are. Uh, there's a section of the internet. Connor section of the internet well, who thinks uh, a lot of stuff's gonna happen. I think happen the world's today. ending today. Yeah, I've heard that ending, from a couple people. But the world's ending? I don't believe that, but I've heard that from a few. Cody Rhodes just became our champion. Yeah, can't yeah, have that. Right. It doesn't seem fair. All right, everybody look up to the sky when a solar eclipse happens because it's a big deal. So let's make. Got glasses on. Wait, though. When's, when's it supposed to. to happen? Check your eyes. Uh, three, uh, three something, I think. Three, three something. 320. 322, I think, in Indianapolis is the perfect view of the moon right in front of the sun. 
Because when the moon hits the sun, it's the time. It is fun. Also happening today, Cooper DeGene of the Iowa Hawkeyes will be having his pro day. If you do recall who Cooper DeGene is, he's the white. Yes. <laughs> that is playing cornerback for Iowa and uh -huh. punt returner. Allegedly supposed to run 4-3, four, 4-2 four, potentially. He got injured, but he is a first-round corner going to be drafted out of Iowa. He had a punt return against Minnesota that got called back for a Fugues call. Playmaker, star, and a man who uh, everybody thinks potentially going to change a talking point in the uh -huh. NFL next oh, year. Yeah. Finally. Uh -huh. D. Butch, uh, oh, yeah. everything DB host. Uh -huh. Whenever you see uh, an athlete is how we'll describe. Hey! Oh! That's high school. Hey, yeah. Like that. That's high school, Cooper Jean. And foot this is in Iowa. No look pass, obviously. The guy's a filthy athlete. Has been. Will continue to be. Yep. We're throwing hoops off the backboard in high school games in Iowa. Uh, whatever. I think he's sophomore first dunk or whatever the case is. Damn. D. Butch, whenever you think about what Cooper Jean could potentially become, what are you trying to judge? Is it his speed? Is it his quickness? Is it his athletics? What do you think it's going to be for whether or not he remains corner, which is what everybody says? But I have heard yeah. some people say. This guy looks perfect for <laughs> transition over to safety. Mm -hmm. What do you mean he looks perfect <laughs> well, for a transition over to safety? I mean, what are your thoughts? He, do, he does have the body type. You think he can kind of fill out a little bit more of a great athlete. He's a return guy. You see the basketball skills. Obviously, uh, some uh, hint of uh, maybe some Jason Seahorn, yeah, Dustin okay. Fox, oh, okay. Harrison I Smith, maybe yeah. hybrid. But, no, nah, he's a dog, man. Uh, should be probably a top 15, top 20 pick. Uh, pro day today, obviously, get uh, a lot of uh, scouts get their eyes on him. He dealt with an injury, missed a lot of time. Uh, but I'm excited to see him on the next level, man. He should be a good one. What do you want to see, D, bud? If you're watching his pro day, obviously we know he's probably going to run a fast 40. You want to see yeah. how he changed direction, his hips? Like, what are you looking at? His explosive jumps, the long jump, the verts, all those things. Just seeing him move. Just seeing him move, going through a full workout, getting gas, going through conditioning. Because once a guy has missed that type of football time, you just want to get your uh, eyes on him. Then obviously the medical, the things we, we're not privy to, um, that's going to be the most important part, I think, this pro day. Ty, as an Iowan, you see Caitlin Clark, you know, Mm -hmm. Go do what Caitlin Clark has done, and yep. she's coming to the Indiana Fever. And yep. as Don Staley said, she's going to elevate the next level too. Even yeah, though man. Diana Taurasi doesn't want to hear it, a little wake-up call she said coming in. As a person's from UConn, talking shit about somebody that isn't from UConn, I do believe that's potentially a part of it. But I was showing up right now. Yeah, Cooper DeGene about to go crazy today at the pro day. Is that what everybody in Iowa is thinking? Yeah, I think so. I'm obviously incredibly biased uh, <laughs> because I am from Iowa. But yeah, I mean, you look at like he's been one of those guys too. Where if you grew up in Iowa, I think he won. I want to say he won four state championships in a row in football. He was a quarterback. Went to Iowa. I think he wanted to play quarterback. They moved him to D back. Which who knows? He's probably not getting picked. You know, in the first round if he plays quarterback instead. But. I mean, what, that, that was kind of the – once he got hurt last year and broke his leg, you know, going into, like, the Big Ten championship, it was like when he was still healthy, it was like, hey, who knows? Maybe Cooper DeGene's going to be playing offense. We're going to get him several touches. Obviously, that doesn't work out, but he did release that he's fully healthy right now, and I think everyone who has watched him play and kind of knew him growing up, like, yeah, the expectation is that his – athletically, he is going to be ridiculous. Everybody attacked Paul Pierce for what he said. Yes. About Caitlin Clark. Sure. Standard conversation, I think, in pretty much every locker room I've ever been in. So the mm. people that are attacking him, I don't think. Who cares? That's like actual. That's like actual conversation. Could you imagine next year in the locker room, <laughs> oh. Cooper DeGene locks down Justin Jefferson? Oh. <laughs> like the things that are going to be said to Justin Jefferson, the things that are going to be said to any wide receiver <laughs> yeah. that gets locked down by Cooper DeGene. I am pumped about that whole thing coming back to the NFL yeah. seemingly. He's a dog, man. It, it, and hey, it's evolution. Hey, it's happens. All right, come this is the first if <laughs> if he pans out to what I think he'll be, I mean he'll probably be the best white corner we've seen in National Football. Wow. 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 Brighter days are ahead. Wow. Wow. Brighter days are ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck out there, Cooper. Hey, Good go luck, get him, Cooper. Go yeah, get him, Coop. Now it is very abnormal what Cooper's uh, been able to accomplish thus far. Sure, oh, truly. Yeah. Proud of him. Way to go. Love you, Coop. Keep going, Coop. Joining us now, ladies and gentlemen, is another man we're incredibly proud of. Not only because he put a company on his back for a long time and he came sprinting to the ring with it right there on his back, but now that he's transferred into Hollywood, he's become, for shoot, one of the best actors in Hollywood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Cole's goat. Ricky Stanicki, ladies and gentlemen, the man who came out and helped Cody Rhodes win the WWE Championship last night. 
John Cena. Yeah. WWE the world. Thank you for joining us. Thank you everyone. How is everyone today? Pat McAfee, how are you, sir? I'm fantastic. You know, the biggest WrestleMania of all time had a uh, a John Cena surprise Ooh, appearance. Yes. Nice surprise! Oh wow! Wow, you can hear the energy and the excitement here at the convention center. Pat McAfee crew, how is everyone? Fantastic, Fabulous. John. All right, uh, guys, I'm not wearing headphones, so you might have to talk a little bit loud, but I wanted to be in the element. I wanted to yeah. hear and uh, experience the sound and the excitement of the tail end of WrestleMania week. WWE World, you're ruining the brand. WWE World, yeah. yeah. WWE The World. The though. World, WWE The World. That might Ooh. be the next name. Yeah. Uh, Includes Saturday. Uranus. No, that would be the universe. Solar eclipse today, if we're going to start talking about this. <laughs> right. Solar eclipse, let's make sure we're looking up at the moon. Blocking the sun, it should be a good day, but don't, hey, it was don't, great. I mean, look up at it with the proper equipment. Don't just look up at it. Thank you, John Cena. Because yep. yeah. you won't Boom. be able to see me oh, or anyone else. Yeah, you can't see yeah, it. Yeah. Safety first. <laughs> safety first out there. Uh, last night, I see you make that 55-yard sprint. Oh, it was an unorthodox jog, but yes, I made it. <laughs> you made it. You looked phenomenal. Don't trip. How good? How good did it feel to get back in there? And, oh, uh, how how good does it feel to run down the ramp at WrestleMania in front of a crazy group of fans like this? Spectacular. You, I mean, you get to go out there every night, and you get to you get the best seat in the house to call all the action. We we share the same moments. We share the same love for the business. We share the same love for WWE. So, uh, yeah, it, it it felt great. You coming out and helping Cody? Yeah. Same with the dead man, Undertaker, uh -huh. coming yep. out. And if you listen to what Miz said earlier, Miz was like, hey, Undertaker has always been known as the leader. Of the Look at you. You're moving, dude. Uh, You're that's, moving. That's a lot of camera tricks right there. No. Oh, we saw it. There's no. a lot of sports four, 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 entertainment. Right there. Look, that's a long sprint. That's a hamstring <laughs> or two yeah. waiting, especially with how chilly it was. You look damn good, and obviously you came in and little attitude adjustment for the travel chief. Oh. Hey, the bloodline set the table, man. They said uh, anything goes, so I just happened to make it on time and anything goes, you know? Yeah, and obviously the Spanish announce desk got cleared off uh, because yeah, we had some... No, there is no way that that can stand to WrestleMania and not be broken. And I saw that it wasn't broken. Oh, oh man. Put a body through it. it. <laughs> Clean. Let's put a body through it. Uh, but Miz talked about how The Undertaker comes out to help. Cody Rhodes, and that's like the leader of the locker room for so long, so him being a part of it is a huge deal, obviously stamping a new era. You coming out and helping, especially because Cody, big baby face, obviously, you coming out is like the dawning of a, coming to help a new era. Is that how you saw it? Is that how you feel? And So the great thing about WWE, right, is we can all speculate on, on everything it means, and we all have our own opinion. If anyone more, knows more about that than me, I, I'd be hard pressed to find that individual because for 20 <laughs> years, I've run down that ramp to a very mixed response. I understand that the audience is allowed to have their own opinion or allowed to speculate on what this could mean. If, if you know anything about me, you know that I try to, I wear my values on my sleeve. Words like never give up, hustle, loyalty, and respect. And I always want a fair chance. That's it. So in the biggest event of the year, with our most important prize on the line, I am just an advocate for a fair chance. Okay. You know I'm a huge fan of Cody Rhodes, but you also know I'm a huge fan of Roman Reigns. I believe Roman Reigns is the greatest of all time. Okay. Again, again, what's great about WWE is you can have your opinion and you can voice yours, and I think that's fantastic. Will, Co will Cody Rhodes be the greatest of all time? He's put himself in a good position. They're saying you're the GOAT, pal. What is that? They're saying you're, you're. The, you're the GOAT. This is a bond. You're the GOAT. Oh, Mike. Me, aww. Uh. <laughs> wow. That's more of a donkey. Thank, oh, yeah. thank you. That's more like a jackass. Yeah. Oh, you're GOAT. <laughs> that's, that's more me. That's yeah. more me. No, no. First of all, thank you so much. 
Because I, I, I know you don't just do that for anybody, so thank you. It means the world. Thank you. But to your point there, you were saying, is Cody Rhodes going to be the greatest of all time? We'll find out. TV. Yeah, and that does... That's what you get when you do a live show, man. Hey, this is what you get when you bust your ass for decades. Thank you. Thank you. So going, going back to what I said about Roman Reigns, uh, that doesn't mean that Cody Rhodes cannot be the greatest of all time. I just want people to understand that. I think what's been done so far, you have to put Roman Reigns in that slot, but Cody's, Cody's story set, you know, the whole, the whole theme of WrestleMania was finishing the story. His story starts today. I, t I told him in the ring last night, and I'm sure he'll be able to relay this same message. When I got to embrace him, I, he had the championship in his right hand. And I said, do you feel that? He said, yes. I said, do you feel how heavy it is? He said, yes. I said, it will get heavier every day. Oh, that's deep. Because that is the burden you bear of trying to craft the path to being the greatest of all time. I hope, I hope, and this is, should be the goal for the business. Every performer should pass the torch up. So I hope a year from now, two years from now, three years from now, we can all sit here and be an advocate that Cody Rhodes is the greatest of all time because that's the way it should work. Awesome. You're speaking from a man who has obviously been there, done that, getting go chance, so obviously you should be taken seriously, but wrestling fans are obviously going to be pissed about something you said in there. I oh, love it. Course. Something that's you said the in there. That's the beauty of what we do, man. It is, it is not universally accepted. What is universally accepted is the passion is the oh. energy, is the heartbeat. We all come together over this, and we all share our opinions loud and vocal, and everyone in the WWE, both talent, production, and audience alike, knows that we are superstars, and that you are superstars. Yeah, they're character. Yeah. Yeah. You. 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 And you. With, you. Without, you. without you, you. I'm, I'm just a dude in jean shorts, a ball cap, and a t-shirt. And kicking ass. Hell yeah. yeah. And oh, kicking ass in the middle of the ring. Yeah, without them, I'm not. Yeah, but they could be no people in their COVID. Anyways, oh, AJ's got and, a question. And sidebar, I know they were busting your ass about wearing the same t-shirt as last you. night. I'm also wearing the same t-shirt as last night. Boom! 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 So we're good. Me and John C. You and I, we're good. Of course. Hey, you guys are basically twins. John, I wanted to uh, ask you about your life outside the ring. Yeah, let this go. You need to soak it up. They don't get it, John. They don't get it. I'll, I'll change my shirt, but you guys know that comes with a uniform change. So uh, last night wasn't my last night, so this doesn't mean this is my last uniform. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's that mean? What's that mean? We're just throwing. A, that means that uh, I've, I've speculated a lot about when it is that I hang up the jorts, but uh, it is. It wasn't last night, and I still got. I still got a little bit of rubber left on the top. Wow! That feels big. I don't want to bogart your question. Let's get down to, get down to brass. Now that just turned into my big. question. Hey, that's breaking news there. Yeah, right yeah. There. that's nuts. Hey, yeah, baby John. Good we to can, see we you. We can lean into that. We Have can you been feeling that, that for a while? Did last night reignite that that fire, that passion? Why is it so tough to, to say, like, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this down. I'm going to put this away for a while where I'm not going so, to wrestle. Uh, so it's not tough because of the foundation I laid and the promise I made to each and every person who pays attention and gives of themselves to WWE. When I feel I can no longer perform at the capacity of the product, it is time to step away. That's not that's not tough. The toughest thing is that I love it so much, uh, and you can still do it at a high level. Uh, yeah. So when that when that time is gone, that means that it's done. I'm I'm actively trying to craft that path right now. So uh, I, I've I've put a line in the sand of myself for for 50, and I honestly think it's going to be before that. Uh, there's your breaking oh, news. Hold it, hold it. Uh, I'll be 47 in a few weeks. Oh, so we got time right. still. Yeah. Uh, you, you got about 700, about a thousand days to decide. Okay, okay. okay. All right. And, and right. A lot of time. Nothing but, but time. Um, but you got this. Many are calling this the greatest WrestleMania ever, right? And and I agree. What a spectacle! What a fantastic WrestleMania! But that's because of the talent that actually put the time in. I showed up for 90 seconds. This is the greatest WrestleMania with or without my involvement. And, and that well. is because of the now, the superstars we have now and their contribution, their contribution to the business. It is going to be time soon for me to go. 
and I, I'm embracing that and enjoying it, and it allows me to be present. Go, 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 go. I uh, I can say this with the utmost certainty: I will always, always be part of the WWE family. But the time to compete in the ring is coming to a close. No. Yeah. No, we have, we have no, thousand, thousand days. days. Yeah, thousand days. days. No, we have less. thousand days. I'm gonna try to do it in less. Okay. okay. <laughs> well, whatever the case, you look fantastic. Thank last you night. very much. You said 90 seconds. Average 47-year-old, that run out there is taking <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. at least four minutes. For sure. 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 
one of these days it, it might have to come at like a hall of fame or something but i i want to be able to thank the wwe universe for getting me ready for life um and the skills that i learned performing in front of a live audience that is very vocal about how they feel when something is good or when something is not gives you immediate feedback it gives you timing it allows you to focus on storytelling if i'm not entertaining you SOBs are going to tell me I'm not entertaining. Yep. So I better sharpen my skills real quick and be entertaining. If uh, I stumble, if I pause, if I'm not on my best on oh, Monday or Friday. Oh, the sound. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. You yeah. guys let me know. You guys have prepared me to take the skill set that I've learned in WWE and, and put it forth in movies and in life. And before, when I did movies, I just wanted to be back in the ring. I was a young 20-something-year-old invincible WWE champion that wanted to be in front of this audience. Now I understand that my, my body can only do that in select times. But I have all these skills that you've given me, and I want to be able to use those skills in the frame that I have. And on movies and in television is the best way to do, the, do that. And I've, I really compare what's going on in my life right now to like 2006. People in WWE, nobody thought I'd ever be anything. I almost got fired. They didn't think the rap persona would work. One at a time, jump hurdle, jump hurdle, jump hurdle. So I don't mind that everyone typecasts me as like, yo, you, you do this and only this. I'm sure you had some hurdles to climb, being a, an NFL <laughs> kicker. Uh, swearer, a uh, guy who has a public intoxication arrest, uh, from Indianapolis, punter, what? Yes. kind of a doofus. That, this is everybody's journey in life. I'm just so grateful to the skills that you guys have allowed me to develop because, man, do I have an awesome toolkit, and now maybe I can do something else or something else, or I don't know. Okay, so Maybe I can be on the Pat McAfee panel. Who knows? Ooh, yeah. Who knows? Great right now. Doing great right now. Saving me, pal. Yeah, he's yeah. saving all of us right now. <laughs> um, he was talking about the Ricky Stanicki character, I think, more specifically. Because in there, there's a lot of Stanicki, big stars. Stanicki. Stanicki. If you're going to do a chat, help me with some promo. Thank you to the people at Amazon. Thank you. Yeah, let's get another one. Yeah, yeah I was going to follow up to that. Hero of the Week. <laughs> I mean, phenomenal work in there, Ricky Stanicki. But, like, your acting chops, you were this clear star of said program. And, you know, talking about the Hollywood world, and he said uh, earlier, seeing you naked on the Oscars stage, the internet immediately abuzz. This is an embarrassment ritual for John Cena to have him go out there for a costume award, okay, and do this. Has there ever been a time where you've been embarrassed to showcase that that is what your body looks like? <laughs> and, and how long have you looked like this? And whenever, are you just the guy that if you like the idea, yeah, I'll do it? Because that does seem like the John Cena Hollywood guy is like, because what was the Peacemaker? Yeah. That was some of the most absurd shit of all time. Season two coming up. Oh, so yeah. entertaining, though. Yeah. It's like, you don't take yourself serious at all, it feels like, in there. You dive right in. I think that's just who you are, and I don't think people are giving you enough credit so, for that type of thing. So I think, uh, I think I do take it seriously, but I take it seriously. Not yourself. Not me looking cool. Because if you try to look cool all the time, you're just chasing a, a perfect view of yourself that doesn't exist. Man, I know I got a bald spot on the back of my head. I flossed, I flossed it last night at WrestleMania. Hell yeah. yeah. Hair looks good though. Me, right. you, and like seven out of ten dudes have them, so I don't <laughs> care. I'm not perfect. That's not me. So I think instead of trying to craft every situation to how can I look the strongest or the best, I look at every situ situation of how can we make this the best situation. Ooh. When we go over the Oscar bit and they're like, ah, do you want to wear Spanx or Spandex or a Speedo? No, make me as naked as possible so Disney says it's too naked. <laughs> that's how we no, go I about was told that. somebody told you that. Yeah, I, I, know, know, I didn't know you were a part that's of that. The, right? uh, that's the funny bit. That's the, that's the gag. That's why everyone's entertained. Yeah. And I think that's what leads to polarizing opinions. And that's what leads to interest. And people can have that stuff and say like, oh, this is this. But... It, it is what it is. It's for your entertainment to decide what you want. Your cheeks on the Oscars were awesome. Yeah. As we are back on ESPN for hour two, John Cena still joining us here live from the WWE yeah. World. 
Con man's got a question for you. Yeah, John, so making the best out of the situation for Cody Rhodes now going forward. Like, when you get your championship, you know, obviously for Cody in this situation, he's following a guy that is known as the GOAT. Like, how does he go forward and not try and replicate anything of the past and do his own thing? Like, was that hard for you when you got yours to not kind of... Uh so sure was, and I think it was hard for Roman too, um, and certainly hard for Shawn Michaels or Stone Cold Steve Austin or what? What? all all of those guys had enormous shoes to fill, and the way that they've connected with the audience is <laughs> we're, we'll get some good audience participation here, right? Is by reflecting on history. Why? But ultimately coming to the conclusion Why? that they should be themselves. Why? Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. Hey, that was the most sophisticated usage of the what's I do believe, yeah. which is why you're John Cena. Um, so you just said, obviously, thousand days or whatever uh, until you're 50. That's where you drew the line in the sand. You said you're not done. We'll see you again. You're here on Monday after WrestleMania. Yep. What is your schedule right now? Are we making movies? Are we doing? What do we have going on right so, now? With uh, as well? I was, I was grateful enough that uh, Honda kind of bumped a commitment I had to be able to do WrestleMania. So I'll go from here to do something with Honda. Hey, are they making flying cars? Is that what you alluded to They're in the working last on voiceover? It. They're working on it, dude. I was watching that commercial. I hear John Cena's voice, They're and then all of a sudden I see some something. jets and stuff. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, is that a, that's awesome. <laughs> They're working on some pretty cool stuff. So I'm going to straight to that. Uh, I have a cool. Um, keynote appearance with Samsung in Las Vegas. Their theme of the convention is Time Is Now, so they called on yours truly to speak there. I'm very grateful for like that. that. Your time is up. <laughs> My, My time, time is now. now. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I have some more branding stuff to do before I leave for Europe to finish a movie that we started filming before the strike called Heads of State with Priyanka Chopra and Idris Elba. Ooh, and then ooh. straight from that to Peacemaker Season 2. Let's go. That'll, uh, that'll take us through just about Christmas, and I'm crossing my fingers and toes and my heart that maybe, maybe, just maybe, I can take the, I can tell the Hollywood world to pump the brakes for a while and come back to my family for one last run. Oh my God. I hope, I don't know, I hope, I'm trying, I hope we'll see what happens. We'd be honored to watch that and witness that, and obviously everybody here would be excited to see one last run from old John Cena. Well. Every time we see you do something, we think it's incredibly cool. We're pumped for you. Wrestling guy taking over the world. you got to go chase that at some yeah. point. World champion! Those, those shots got to be earned, man. I don't know if you've looked at my, my record for the past three years, but it's not exactly stellar. I need a slump buster first. I need a, I need a slump buster. Okay, we'll send you mids. Yeah, call <laughs> on. Ladies and gentlemen, the GOAT. John Cena! Definition of over, truly. Forever. Yeah. yeah. What was he talking about all that? We got a lot of music play while he's out here. Yeah. We got to pick up John Cena. Why? You. 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 Good spot there at the end. Hey, you signed this one thing. You do ten more. Yeah. <laughs> Quick on the way out. Thank you, John. Thanks for having John. John. Yeah. Let's go. Tony, you didn't get a chance to feel it, but oh, I felt it back there. Every word he said, these people were oh. reacting to. Obviously, he's worked his ass off. He did it for so long, so often, so like hard. Like he was taking bumps. Yeah. Like, oh. And his body just got more jacked, more ripped. I appreciate the fact that we said uh, they were calling that an embarrassment ritual. He was like, I told him I should be born again. <laughs> yeah.
John Cena is all in on everything, which is why I respect the hell out of him. All in on everything, and uh, yeah, he broke news. The uh, internet is going wild about the, he is not done yet. We're not done um, yet. yet. Uh, speaking of that, we got another hour here on ESPN, YouTube ESPN Plus. YouTube ESPN Plus, third hour, we'll have Lane Johnson joining us. Oh, yeah. Because we're in such a great conversation with John Cena, we were not able to take a break, so we do apologize to the linear television audience that didn't get to see three minutes of magic, but I will also apologize to my bladder that currently has to piss. <laughs> sure. We are 55 minutes away from a break, and we will certainly do a fantastic job uh -huh, uh -huh. this entire time. Oh, yeah. The WWE world has continued to fill up here in Philadelphia. This event is so special. I think Stephanie McMahon said 65 different countries yeah. were represented here at the WrestleMania. Obviously, WrestleMania 40. I assume every single city in the country is represented. People travel here, and it's a full weekend of happiness, a full weekend of good, a full weekend of celebration of the greatest business on earth, professional wrestling. So thank you all for hanging with us on this Monday. And tonight, Raw After Mania is legendary. Mm -hmm. Tonight, there's probably going to be surprises and absurd shit to kind of cap off the greatest WrestleMania weekend of all time here in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. I'm not alone. Talk to the table is here at Boston Connor, at Ty Schmidt. One half of the hammer, Don! Cowboys, Tone Diggs is here. Darius J. Butler and A.J. Hey. Hawk are here as well. Boys, John Calipari, oh. basketball coach for the University of Kentucky, right? Yeah, yeah that's right. Guy from Pittsburgh, right? Uh -huh. yeah. Guy who has a job for the rest of his life, right? Uh -huh. Correct. Guy that made Kentucky an absolute blue blood and always in the topic of conversation college basketball. He's going to be down there with the thoroughbreds forever, right? You think? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Nah, he's head coach of Arkansas now. What? Yep. what? John Calipari said, I'm out of here. You Whoa. spelled my name wrong on the damn <laughs> newspaper the day after we lost. I know we haven't won a natty in some time. Why don't you get off my back? It's a new world. And he said to himself, you know, when we win, it's a relief. When we lose, it's uh -huh. devastating. They're spelling my name wrong on a newspaper that I sold more newspapers than anybody in the history of this town. Get me the hell out of here. He's now with the Woo Pig Suey group down in Arkansas. Yeah. Congrats to him, congrats to them, and now what does Kentucky do, Ty? I don't know, this, this was crazy. I mean, this is a massive story, and it kind of happened last night. Just, I mean, granted, we were at Mania, so you, you, it's kind of just like, uh, all right, whatever. Yeah, we'll, Undertaker just came out, yeah. Sean. <laughs> yeah, okay. Exactly, so it's, but, but it, I mean, this is, you know, I, I think once they started talking about, like, oh, okay, we're, we're, we need to get rid of Calipari, we're gonna fire him, he was like, oh, you're gonna fire me? That, that ain't how this works. I leave now. But it's weird staying in the the SEC. Like he's going to be coaching against Kentucky. I don't know. It's just it, 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 do it they almost buy him feels out? like does Arkansas have to buy Calipari out? Uh, did you, well, out did you, you leave? Did you right? hear who bought him out? Did you hear who was a major uh, player yeah. in bringing him in? Who? Oh, who's that over there? Jerry Jones. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh -huh. What's going on hey, over there? Jerry Jones. <laughs> What's going on over there? <laughs> Jerry goes over to Calipari. I see the way you're treating you in Kentucky. Uh -huh. I ain't no way to be treated for a man like you. No. You're a Hall of Fame. Calipari you're a legend. Okay. You're a beast. Spelling your name wrong on a newspaper? Get the hell out of here. How much do I got to pay to get you to Arkansas? You're in love, Arkansas. They got this chance. Ooh. Ooh. And if you win, I don't know. You Win a little bit over 500. That's a reason. Who gives a shit? You get them in the tournament, they're going to be so pumped. You can come down to Jerry World anytime you want. You got a free suite, whatever you need. Cal Parry's like, hey, man, get me the hell out of here. Now, I did see some people on the internet say, well, Kentucky's going to try to get uh -huh. Dan Hurley yeah. out of Ooh. UConn. Ooh. Could you imagine winning back to back national championships? At a place like UConn that has how many national titles? Uh, 16 combined men and women in the last 30 years. And people are just acting like, yeah, not a good job. Kentucky's <laughs> a better job yep. than UConn. It's been wild to see the names that everybody expects to go down to Kentucky. It's wild, man. You know the money behind behind the scenes. That's, that's what's going to come down to these coaches. So I would expect you. I don't know what Hurley's contract he's situation get a raise. is, but yeah. he's. I expect him to get a huge raise. And that Kentucky job, that's a big-time vacancy yeah. uh, for, uh, obviously, head basketball coaches. But Kentucky would be the equivalent of Bama. Yes. Of, of college football Similar. so like if you do get that opportunity you would take it but i assume john daly came through with <laughs> two to three hundred cases of chocolate milk probably a couple beers i don't know what calipari likes to drink but i assume john daly brought it to one golf course 
Jerry flew Calipari in. Yep. He said, hey, this is your new best friend. His name is John Dalen. You're going to enjoy every single day in Arkansas. I love everything about Arkansas. What a state. What a time. Oh, uh -huh. I had a blast there. Mm -hmm. They told me the Hells Angels dressed like me. That's why they wouldn't let me into a bar. So then I was forced to buy a foam, sea foam green. Yep. Jake Owen. Jake Owen. Owen shirt. It was a sweet shirt. Oh. And then I went inside. Me and Ryan. Mallet. Yeah. Mallet, rest in peace. Yeah, mm -hmm. peace. Had time of our life. Arkansas is good people. I think Calipari is going to love it there. And now what does Kentucky do? They just ran a legend out of town. Hope you're happy. Hope you're happy. Yikes. Uh, speaking of happy, Akshay Bhatia. Congratulations. Yeah. Oh, Akshay. Akshay in the golf world. He just won the Valero Open this weekend. Uh, he dislocated his shoulder <laughs> celebrating. Yep. And he's yep. a young buck. He's thin. He's attractive. He's been good for a long time. He didn't even go to college. He went straight to the pros out of high school. We got a chance to chat with him. Allegedly, during that fist pump right there, <laughs> his shoulder popped out of place. Akshay, we need at least one, you know, dumbbell raise. <laughs> we need to put a little muscle on here somewhere. This sure. kid legitimately has been talked about as potentially being the future of yep. golf. He's a superb talent. And his story is phenomenal. Bet on himself, I'm gonna go do this. Mm -hmm. And his personality, great. Happy to see him get a big win. And congrats on uh, qualifying for the Masters, Akshay. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations, it's a good story. Yeah, he's also a big son of a bitch. I feel like when we talked to him, we, we kind of got that gauge of how tall he is. And he's got the smoothest swing of all time. Oh yeah. If he comes in here, I mean, are we talking about Akshay Bhatia, top five, top 10, maybe winning the friggin' Masters next week, coming off of the biggest win of his career. How's his shoulder? Is his shoulder going to be okay? Is he going to well, be able to yeah, tee it up with the boys? Skinny, skinny guys like that, it happens all the time. That was on 18, I, I think, know. and then he did win in the playoffs. So I think he's going to be all right. The uh, I think it was, who was it, Denny McCarthy that he was going up against, who was minus nine on the day, was playing Damn. unbelievable, and then he was 90 yards out and put one in the water. Like, that's just how golf was. It was, it was a really good tournament. Yeah, PGA's doing great stuff. Excited for that. Congrats to Akshay. We literally chatted with him when his – Caddy was a girl that he just DM'd and asked yeah. if she had a free weekend. Yeah. They're now married. Yes, yeah. they are. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah. He's living. He's doing it right. Happy ending. Speaking of doing it right, Bill Belichick is just hanging out in some Washington Huskies gear. Uh, Steve Belichick, former mm. defensive assistant coach for the New England Patriots, is now defensive coordinator for the Washington Huskies. And Bill Belichick is not only speaking at their coaches clinic, he's also at practice with the hoodie on. What a weapon for this Washington team to continue to build. The greatest of all time is just moseying around in some all-gray suite. Yeah, Jed Fish, the head coach, he was the QB coach when Mac was a rookie. So that, that's how um, he knows them, too, as well, along with Steve Belichick being there. I assume the Washington Huskies, what, they, they win three, four more games because yeah. of the fact At that least. Bill Belichick came to their, their preseason and gave him some game, probably? What do you think, D-Bud? You yeah. got drafted up there. You think there's a chance that Bill Belichick's just going to step away from football for a year now that nobody's hired him as a head coach? Nah, there's no way he can stay away from the game. I'm sure he'll be on, on, on a Zoom call with his son, probably be tapped into the meeting rooms. But, yeah, any Anytime you can be around Bill, you're going to hang on to every word when it comes to football. He is an absolute encyclopedia. He'll tell you, he'll remind you, he'll let you know he's forgotten more football than you ever learned. I, just the fact that Bill's not in the NFL and he's on, he's wearing Crazy. he's wearing a Washington Husky sweatsuit right now. Thank God. Unbelievable. Thank God, too. I, I thought about that. I was so worried about the idea of seeing Bill Belichick in another team's colors, uniform at another team's facility. Getting just a little taste, even though it's college. It's like, okay, this is what purple. This is what purple if the Vikings job was over. <laughs> This is what it would look like, maybe. Okay, there's some gold in there. All right, maybe, maybe he does go. That to, W looks like a commander. Yes, it does. Why is it not it, cut off? Well, that's because he's trying to show respect to the boys. Okay. If he I was mean, to showcase that barrel chest in yeah. those arms yeah. that he had out of that shot. ring video, those college kids probably transfer. Yeah, plus. They'd hit, they'd hit the transfer portal. Oh, he yeah. knows what he's doing with those guns. He's got to do what he's got to do. Shows up in a sleeveless hoodie. You know how long of a season it is for Steve Belichick? I mean, those kids are telling Steve every day. Like, is Steve oh. okay? Yeah, he looks good. <laughs> Steve's <laughs> okay. Look, Steve, Steve, Steve's going through a transition period right now. Okay, It's going to be the first time he's coaching for a team that his dad isn't the head coach. So he's transitioning into becoming his own coach without his father on the staff. So sure, maybe there has been another trip to the dessert menu. Okay, there's oh, been a that's what you're talking about. That's what you guys are alluding to. No, we're I not. Know. We I, wanna, know. I was talking about him being okay without his, like, oh, okay. yeah, in Washington. What are you sure talking about? What are you talking about? We know, we all know what are you, you calling hey, him fat? We can allude to the internet narratives that I believe in, and so can you guys, and that's okay. And I can sit here and tell you, yeah, 
He's been a little more stressed out. He's moving from Boston to Washington. Would you guys be stressed out if you were going from one side of the country to the other? I know I'd pack on a few if I did. Whoa. But with that being what said, is what do you think? He's saying this stuff. Look, like. I know what you guys are talking about, and that's fine. And I can make the jokes about it and be the brunt of the, you know, if you will, bad <laughs> press around what we're talking about here. With that being said, at the end of the day, <laughs> Steve Belichick is more locked in than ever. I mean, I expect Washington's defense to be top five this year, if not top one. Better Think be. about Bill breaking down these college offenses right now, oh. AJ. Like for a Steve, and I've been looking at something. You need to do this. You need to do this. Do you think Steve wants that? I assume yes, right? Yeah, I would imagine Steve wants that. I, would, I want to see what the other coaches think, though. Like if Bill comes into their defensive staff meeting, yeah, they want Bill's – Insight and everything, but they're also probably as nervous as they've ever been. They're like, Trying to please impress don't them. kill me. Like you're oh, a player. Yeah. You're like a player when Bill Belichick's out. Oh, please hey, so what, what just don't your, come after me right now. What is your weekly routine? Let's walk yep. through it. It's <laughs> cool. Oh, yeah. You're just making up stuff on the on the fly that sounds good. I potentially had a conversation with Bill Belichick on the phone. Okay. okay really? Within the last couple of months. And I should have known that I was signing up for her. I thought it was a quick, hey, how we doing? Just want to let you know, just like I've said publicly numerous times, if you're gonna do TV next year. We would love to get in on the action. We would love to be a part of that. So I just wanted to call, reach out, chit chat with him a little bit more. That thing was an hour long. Oh. And I gave answers. I got follow up on that one. <laughs> and he remembers every follow up. There's not just like, uh, sometimes people have a follow up for something that you said, but you already passed that, you get to the next one. Uh uh, got a follow up? Oh, got a follow up on that one as well. Let's put a pin in that one, we're coming back. Maybe the most diligent conversation I've had in 45 minutes, and I just thought about everything he's done to players over the years, yeah. and the way he looks at things and how he talks, it's like, this dude's a machine. Yeah. And now he's potentially working for the Washington Huskies. Yes. Bill on the defensive side of the ball, and uh, I believe Pete Carroll's son is the OC, so he's on the, you know, not a bad little coaching staff that got up there. Good for Washington. Congratulations. Coming off the natty. Also, congratulations, speaking of natty, to the South Carolina Gamecocks. Congrats. Yeah. Yeah. Ron Staley down. and the Gamecocks have won a uh, national championship. I got some stats from Hembo. Uh, Billy's finest. That were just, like, phenomenal to talk about. South Carolina is 109 and three in the last three seasons. The three losses are by a combined seven points. That's crazy. Okay, now let's talk about Iowa. Iowa scored 77 points versus South Carolina last year, 75 this year. Difference was South Carolina's perimeter shooting in the game. They went 420 last year, 8 and 19 yesterday. 37 0 bench scoring in God. South Carolina's favor. Uh, to hang 87 with a 20 point scorer without a 20 point scorer is the exquisite depth in role definition, says Hembo. Nice. Okay. Will Chamberlain, Oscar Robertson, Jerry West, West Virginia, hell yeah, Pete Maravich, Elvin Hayes, Larry Bird, and Tim Duncan. All have not won a national championship in college. Wow. Are they not great? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 Hembo. Oh, okay. oh, okay. Interesting. That is Got such a sports media thing, yeah. but it is so real because there's a lot of people saying, Caitlin Clark is only great if she wins a championship. Well, she didn't. Back to back finals. And the way she handled it was uh, obviously incredible. The way she talked about what her team did, how proud she was and everybody, what they did for the sport. She said she can sleep at night pretty much knowing how she did it. Everybody else can judge it how it is. Hey, Kaylin, you were great. Yeah. yeah. There's no question to ask. No question. And I assume if she potentially went and played on a team that had other WNBA players on it, like some schools potentially have, we might be experiencing a little bit different story. But she stayed in Iowa and lift that program up to a level that it had never been before. And also women's college basketball to a level that it's never been before, alongside other superstars in the NCAA Women's Tournament. But yeah, you're great. You did fantastic. And I don't think there's any other conversation to have about the whole thing, Ty. No, and I think one of the things that's easy to forget is like the amount of pressure that was on her shoulders every single single game like needing to perform like we we look at the I mean you see how expensive the final four tickets were everywhere she went was a sellout it's like she she didn't have the luxury of like hey I, I can't not only because they don't really pay, play anybody off the bench like she had to be at her best every single night she played and for the most part she was like I just I don't know if we'll ever see something like this again I mean who knows because she and the, the women's game in general has kind of had this boon right now and, and has grown yeah. so much but 
it, it, I don't know if we'll ever see like a phenomenon like this again in college sports. Yeah, and every night she showed up, she's seemingly unflappable. I mean, when she broke the record, there was no hitch, no second guess, no drought, no thought. She's coming to the Indiana Fever. Yeah. The Las Vegas Aces, congrats on a nice run, <laughs> Kelsey Plum. Yeah. <laughs> it's over now. All right, we're going to take a three-minute break here, and then when we get back on the other side, the American Nightmare, our WWE champion, Cody Rhodes will join us. We can't thank you enough for allowing us to do this every single day. We're back from WWE World on the other side. Take three. Three. It's impossible to be at the top at both of those, essentially. Like, it's... it's oh, oh, Dan. Oh, Dan. Dan. Uh -oh. Another <laughs> farting Dan Orlovsky oh, situation just no. took place. <laughs> What do you mean? It's unbelievable. No, no, your butt was just talking. Pass, okay, I right? did not fart. Uh, Dan, 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 Dan. Dan. It's two times now, Dan. This is the Orlovsky thing. You guys be serious right now or are you messing with me? Dan. Dan. Listen to this clip. This is you just moments ago. It's impossible to be at the top at both of those. Essentially. Like, it's... it's oh, Dan. Dan. Oh, Dan. Dan. I mean, undeniable. You guys definitely... <laughs> We swear! There's no way! So no one did that then! That was just cartoons! What did you eat? I haven't even ate that you was, guys. Hey, <laughs> if I were you right now, I'd go grab some yeah. food one. My wife texted me, she said, Oh my gosh, McAfee show, I'm dead. I go, babe, I promised you on everything. I did not fart. Who runs your Twitter account? AB. I do. What's this all about? I would like to know, in that situation where your butthole started talking, mm -hmm. what did I do? I'm here to be serious with you, man. What, are you chucking a glass of milk, eating some yeah. fruit over there, get you some coffee, get that butthole a little I'm bit more active? I haven't ate. I'm eating yogurt. I have a thousand text messages right now with people going, oh my gosh. I'm like, <laughs> I just wanted to have like a quiet Tuesday. I don't even know why we're going to have another hour. Maybe we we'll run that clip. Just, yeah. Yeah. I'll loop. We have the video, Shams, let's let you judge here. It's impossible to be at the top at both of those, essentially. Like, it's... <laughs> <laughs> I need to hear the context. I want to give our guy... Oh, Shams, shut up! He said it sounded like a fart. What did AJ vote? It's a fart all day long, Kirk. You know that. Has anybody voted no? Dan. I'll be the captain of Team No today. We need you to do a tie-breaking vote. Is that okay? Sounds good to me. It's impossible to be at the top at both of those, essentially. Like, it's... There's no doubt. I mean, that's yeah. not like how... He just kept on going right there. When he was talking, he didn't even break stride as that thing came out. He went and got the buggy, went to the store, grabbed some dude wipes to wipe those ass cheeks, just like I assume you do as welcome. You have to go dry, wet, dry. Toilet paper, white toilet paper. If not, you're really risking the rest of the day having the swamp ass. You no, know, Dan Orlovsky, man, he gotta accept that, man. He gotta <laughs> wear that with a pride. One thing that really bothers me when people do not take credit for it. You know, if somebody says, oh, that was you that farted, I get upset when it wasn't me. I'm like, no, when am I ever not claimed it when it was mine? You should claim it. But all those airports, people are traveling today, looking up at the ESPN, Dan Orlovsky farts. What's wrong with this guy? The closed captioning person, whoever it is, they got it. I believe it said, inaudible, muffled, muffled. And it hey, why? Let's go. This show stinks. And the fact that you listen, we are very, very thankful for it. <laughs> the all-time leading tackler for the Green Bay Packers. Ooh. You pink! Damn it! Be a friend, tell a friend something nice. Could change their life. beautiful people and welcome to WWE World on this solar eclipse of the heart Monday April 8 2024 hour two starts now sports our fantastic sports are amazing we're incredibly lucky to cover them every single day and uh, today's a special one because we're still here in Philadelphia at WWE World because WrestleMania is winding down, but the energy is still palpable because of what happened last night, WrestleMania Night 2. There is a new king crowned of the company. He will be joining us in a matter of moments. Joining me now, the talks to table at Boston Connor and at Ty Schmidt. Ty, big time Mark, have been for a long time. These WrestleMania weekends are glorious. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, there's not, if you, love the WWE and you've never been to like a WrestleMania weekend, there is truly 
nothing like it. And to think back, like last night, like an actual watershed moment in this company's history, for us to be there, like it's something you, you'll truly remember forever. If you're a fan and you've never been to one, you got to do whatever it takes to get to one. And we would also like to say thank you so much for uh, the hospitality. From Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. ESPN folks that set this whole thing up, we appreciate the hell out of you. have been able to create some magical moments here, some news breaking mm -hmm. conversations that have taken place. And the union here in Philly for setting all this out. Hey, yeah. Oh, yeah. shout out to the union. Shout out. Shout out. From Pittsburgh, I get the union, so yep. I understand everything. One half of the hammer, Don. Cowboys, Tone Diggs is here. Tone, that national championship game tonight, who we like and how we like it? I, uh, it'd be insane to bet against UConn. Like, it would be insane. What, 11 in a row they've covered in the tournament? They, and then it's not even been close. Like, you basically put your feet up in the second half and just chill and count your money. Like, you'd be insane to bet against UConn, is my, is my thoughts. Seven and a half point favorites in a national championship is obviously absurd. I assume Painter and Edie are going to use that as motivation on the Purdue side. It has felt a little bit different for the Boilermakers this season, but they're running into Kling Kong, and yeah. that's just a matter of fact. Kling Kong takes on Edie in a 920 tip for the national championship. UConn wants to reign and repeat. Speaking of UConn, UConn legend, Darius J. Butler. Thank you very much. Hey, when we had Dan Hurley on, it felt like he had the boys ready to go. The moxie, the swagger, the confidence. They had to battle against a plane being broken before getting out yeah. to Phoenix, Arizona. What are your thoughts on where the boys are? And are you worried about Zach Eady and his Purdue team that has been lightened up this year? You know what? Sometimes you need a little extra adversity. Like you said, mention uh, 11 tournament games in a row where you covered, won by double digits. Obviously, it was some adversity getting out of Connecticut, getting all the way to country to Phoenix. Uh, so I'm sure he'll, he's been stacking those chips up on his team, uh, on his team's shoulders. So I'm, I'm excited about this one, man. Just obviously worried about that, that looming job out there in Connecticut. So get a win. <laughs> Kentucky, rain, Kentucky. repeat. Yeah, Kentucky. I'm sorry. Rain, Ooh. repeat, and then get read up. Okay, so let's talk about this. Who else on the team other than Kling Kong do we need to be paying attention to or needs to have a big game for them to win? Uh, Newton, our point guard, our guard. He just won a big-time award. He's an absolute playmaker. His shots, we haven't been hot, and Hurley mentioned it um, when we had yeah. on the program, haven't been hot from behind the three-point line, so maybe it's tonight we kind of get that lid off the basket. But it always starts with defense, and they defend as a unit. They're deep in the front court, in the back court. Bottle up Edie and then, uh, you know, take care of the rest of the other guys. Con man, do you think this ends with a lot of blood rushing to Zach Edie's mid area? Yeah, I'm assuming we're going to get a, I got a boner clip from <laughs> Zach Edie um, immediately after the game. It feels like this is their moment. Like, to what you said, like, it really does feel different for Purdue. I, for one, want them to win just because Indiana and the city are better when their teams are doing well. But someone deep, but didn't mention that Cam Spencer dude. He's got the moxie. I think he's mm -hmm. number 12 for UConn guard. Oh. I worry about him. He gets soaking wet behind three. The thing about Purdue is, you know, the sports world needs somebody every once in a while to come around and knock off the champion. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, UConn said they want to reign and repeat. Mm -hmm. And Purdue said, not against us. There was a man that was walking into this WrestleMania. And he was being tasked with potentially trying to do the same thing that Purdue is going to be trying to do tonight. Knock off the dominant champion. Change the entire story. Change the narrative. And then ride off into the night with something that your family has never really had. Ladies and gentlemen, joining us now, your WWE Champion.
Thank you all so much. Thanks for having me back. Oh, wow. wow. Is this I know they're probably going to chant it about 10 times throughout this conversation, but uh, you deserve it. Yeah. You deserve it. I a chance. I did it again. I did it again. Y'all too kind. There it is. There it is. Hey, you did a fantastic job this entire weekend. Obviously, we thank you for making the time to join us today after joining us on Friday. You're the new champ. How do you feel? How do you feel? I appreciate you saying I did a fantastic job. I'm going to go ahead and give everybody their flowers here. You, sir, on commentary, both nights, did a fantastic job, Pat did. Corey Graves did. Fadam, Marty, Lee Fitting, that whole team, uh, the wonderful production crew, the voice of WWE, Michael Cole. Absolutely just, you can name so many people. We have just a really, really incredible team. Samantha on the mic last night. Samantha crushed it. If, All weekend. One of the biggest differences in WWE now versus the first time I was here is it's such a team mindset and that's a rare fleeting thing in pro wrestling where everybody is working for this collective goal so business is incredible we gave our flowers to the crew to the talent and all that but you guys here in Philadelphia yeah. damn yeah. Ooh. hey last Ooh. night Last night it was a little bit warmer as the WWE Universe chants our Champions Day. Hell oh, yeah. So last night, uh, I kept saying it was the biggest night of your life. I assume you felt the exact same way. You're getting another opportunity at the Universal. WWE. Undisputed championship in our tribal chief, the most dominant reign in the history of the title. Did you feel it early in the match? Did you? At, at what point were you like, you know what? I'm, I'm beating the hell from Saturday night, which you did get your ass beat. Oh yeah. Oh, on Saturday night, Bloodline Rose. I don't even think you could have pinned them on Saturday night. There was no way you were going to win that. With the way The Rock was talking to the ref, it felt like you were kind of bamboozled all along. A little bit. But on Sunday, was there a moment in that match where you're like, oh, there's a chance I'm going to become champion tonight? Was that all day? How did you feel? I kid you not. And this was a big thing with folk style amateur wrestling. So much of that game on the mat is a mental thing. That match is almost always over before you ever go out there and shake hands. Just there's this element of seeing your opponent, of knowing who they've wrestled and who you've wrestled, all that. I swear to you, I knew that I was winning this thing the moment I came up that elevator. The moment I came up that elevator, I, I just, I don't want to say anything vulgar or anything like that, but I am just so tired and uh, being called a number two, all of it just, it just wasn't going to happen. We weren't going to, we weren't going to leave Philadelphia without taking the... That feels good. That feels good, guys. 
Top guy, Cody Rhodes here, obviously, with our new title. And before the boys have their questions for you, can we talk about how emotional, um, like not only the WWE Universe that has been dubbed the Cody Cry Babies, in which there are many, but even when he took. I love it. Mama Rose, 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 Mama yeah, Mama Rhodes. I feel she's got a score to settle on her own with The Rock and maybe his mom. Oh! oh. Atta, oh. Atta I don't know. Sweet lady. Uh, but let's talk about it. Because of Mama Rhodes, because of your family, because of how long you've been around this industry, because of, there's Mama Rhodes right there looking on, and your father-in-law, I do believe. That's Otis, my father-in-law. That's my nephew, Kellen Maris. Brian, my sister, Teal. Uh, my first best friend there. Yeah, that's the crew. And Brian, yeah, Brian back there. Yeah, I didn't really get Brian his, his love, but what that's Brian. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what a weapon. Back there, the suit of this entire thing, but it wasn't just your family that was emotional. It wasn't just the- Y'all guys, y'all guys are gonna get funky like a monkey. <laughs> For those that don't know, the fans were just chanting Dusty the American Dream, who is Cody's father, who no is, way. is the basis. <laughs> well, for people that don't know, Cody, is the basis of this entire hunt for this particular title, yes, which sir. is why I think everybody who's ever been in the business got emotional last night. Michael Cole was crying watching this thing. We go backstage in the gorilla. Everybody is crying in jubilation. And then I hear this story about this Rolex that was gifted to you. Was last night the perfect night? Was last night a moment that you get a chance to like take in all your hard work? Or did you feel that? I think you just really hit it on the head. Last night, and I'm my own biggest critic. Everything can always be better, no doubt. But last night I felt was the perfect match in the perfect moment in my career and I just it's like it ne it's like it never ended you know you the moment in the ring with all the fans there in the stadium then a moment with your peers backstage not to mention I would never ask any of the boys to stay behind for the end of the night most guys like to get to their bus get to their hotel room the fact that I got to see Jey Uso, I got to see L.A. Knight, I got to see CM Punk. Yeah, y'all, y'all want to get it? Oh my, yes. All right, we're going to do one and together on three. We're going to give them a big yeet. One, two, three, yeet! <laughs> Jay, CM Punk, Randy Orton, my mentor in the business. Yeah. And the... the the man you just you just had here, the uh, the quarterback himself, John Cena, just just an incredible. I, I I couldn't couldn't believe it. Couldn't ask for anything better than that. No doubt. Taker went back to uh, wherever the hell Undertaker goes. <laughs> Parts unknown. Yeah, bingo. He couldn't stick around and celebrate <laughs> with you, but I may or may not have seen him later in the evening, and he was obviously emotional as well. Everybody's pumped for you, brother. You're the right guy. Oh, what man. everybody says. <laughs> Everybody believes it. This doesn't happen a lot in anything. Darius has a question for first you. First of all, yes, first of all, congratulations once again on finishing your story and obviously starting another one. On Friday, you mentioned you didn't necessarily love how the title looks. How much thought have you put into the new look you're going to put on it? Yeah, I see so, Roman still on here. Yeah, it's weird. A couple things. I mean, this, this is so fresh. This came from the ring. Normally, today, you can hand it off to the TV truck, but for me, I'm old school. If I have the belt, the belt's going to go everywhere with me. Absolutely. Love that. I, uh, yes. I, uh, the side plates haven't been changed yet. The Tribal Chiefs plates are still on there. But a, a, a couple things, and I think we should probably just come right out with it. I am very, this is what I got in the ring. Oh yeah. So there's a level of specialness to this equity that's been put into it that I have a warm feeling about. So I feel differently about it today 
However, that said, I had changed the title previously in the past. Intercontinental. I am not in charge of anything. I am no longer an EVP. I have no stroke other than the fact that I'm the champion. But I just think it would be special perhaps to see a particular championship, one that I grew up on, and that's... They know what's coming. That is... Uh, Again, I'm not in charge of anything. Uh, Triple H is in charge of things, but you guys are damn right. The Winged Eagle. <laughs> We're always excited to see it. And, and if, hey, it, it, guys, if it, if it doesn't happen, just don't get mad at me, okay? You know what I mean? Like, just, you know, I, I'll do what I did the last time. I'm going to try my best. So thank you guys. Yeah, you're the champ, bud. Yeah. Got a lot more stroke than you think you do. Oh, yeah. Even more so and even bigger whenever you were an EVP. I, yeah. I think you got even more stroke now, pal. I think that's how that goes. Tone Diggs, who was once a bloodline acknowledger. That's right. And then you sat on this chair on Friday and turned him. Yeah. Oh. He, he was a part of the American nightmare all weekend. Yep. Tone got to experience 48 hours as a Cody Rhodes yep. fan. And it was the best 48 hours <laughs> yeah. that he could ever have. Yeah. I mean, it is. <laughs> yeah. He, he got <laughs> yeah, crazy on the wall. Uh, T has a question for you, Cody. Yeah, that was after you won, and that was so in that section. I was kind of a self-appointed representative of the Cody Crybabies. Um, but I, but after you won, it was so cool to see because everyone who was there, who was ro rooting for Roman during the match, was kind of just like so appreciative of what was going on in the ring, and just like no one. I don't think anyone who was rooting for Roman during the match was upset that, that you won that match. Everyone in the crowd just was, was mesmerized at how cool it was, everyone coming down, the, your family going in, the emotion of it all. Like, how does it feel that in that moment after you won, it kind of felt like the entire stadium was like, oh, that feels right, that feels good? Well, I feel that everyone waited, and truly it's difficult in this day and age to keep the attention and keep the faith. And as a... a I guess a good guy on the program, that's the hardest thing, especially 2024, to keep their faith. And I'm so blessed and lucky that I was able to keep their faith and to pay it off. But Roman, one of the things I took, and I, I noticed this Saturday night, right out of the gate, Roman showed up not like a champion ready to hand off his championship. He showed up in the best shape yes. of his oh, yeah. career. Yeah. He, sh he showed up as the best incarnation of the tribal chief. Thank you, Roman. Thank you, Roman. And and every everything. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sorry. I, I don't agree with how Roman was champion. We, we go about how we operate in the ring completely differently. But still, I said this last night at the press conference, and I really mean it. I'm proud that I beat him at his best, and I hope, I hope that I can be half the champion that Roman Reigns was. He was an exceptional champion for WWE. Did a lot of great things. Really do. Hope I can. How do your work ethic tells us that uh, yeah. things yeah. are going to be just fine as champion, but everybody wants you now. Hey, everybody's going to want Look you. Out. Top of the mountain. Okay, here we are. Now you are the eye of the prize. Mm -hmm. That's how it's going to go. I think you're ready for it. Also, you talk about Roman being in the best shape. I don't know if you've seen any pictures of you. Yeah. Hey, you. I got, I got, I got pretty lean and mean. You did. I got pretty lean and mean. Yeah. No, it. it WrestleMania brings that out, and and you know, there's so many guys now on on the roster that it's just such a different vibe backstage. You've seen it in terms of training, hydration, prep. Uh, I, I got to mention that the day of WrestleMania, I was so appreciative to be announced as a official prime athlete. Oh, uh, congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. It's another thing, you know, John mentioned the burden that comes with a championship, but all these responsibilities, uh, if I'm not ready for them, that would be crazy. I've spent my whole life trying to get ready for them. So I think we're there. I was, I was dialed in last night, under 10% on the body fat. That was exciting and happy to wow. see when I did the check. Um, yeah, no, I, and, and he was dialed in too. And I, and I think that's because of, because of them. They, 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 they only, 
WWE fans, wrestling fans, the WWE universe, particularly Philadelphia, it can only be excellence. Anything less than excellence, get the hell out of there. It's it's got you've got to be excellent, and the, you guys have brought that out of all of us. So much appreciated, much appreciated. Especially whenever you know this one's getting tossed around. Company got put right on your back last night, Cody. Yeah, man. It's in a good spot. Ty has a question for you. Yeah, Cody. First and foremost, congrats. That was. I mean, I, I think we can all agree. Greatest man. Hey, we'll acknowledge. Yeah. Yeah. We will. Yeah. We you will guys have won. You. You've won like eight times. We. I got it. No, we're acknowledging. <laughs> we're acknowledging. No, okay, yeah, acknowledging yeah. your. No, but I asked you on Friday about you know the whole finisher story thing and then yeah. how today with it being opening day like the the real world the real work starts. Excuse me. How difficult will it be to kind of find the juice when you've just come off the most, you know, I, I assume stressful and cathartic and adrenaline-filled weekend of your life? Like, how, how do you, like, now you got to go to work again tonight, and, and tonight's arguably more important than this weekend. Was. Hey, sweet off-season. Yeah. yeah. Sweet yeah. off-season. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> it was, it was like four hours. five hours last night, I think. There, there was the off-season. Um, well, I do have adrenaline in my soul, so that's a good thing. We're good. Okay. If any of these, if any, if any of you are just regular sports fans are watching right now, I, I hope this doesn't bother you. I hope you just see the magic that yes. is pro wrestling and sports yep. entertainment and ESPN. ES, ESPN being wonderful, the golden boy of ESPN here, just outstanding. I answer your question. I told my wife a few months ago. Shout out, Brandy. I said, shout out to Brandy Rhodes for sure. <laughs> I, I told her, I said, you know, if I won the WWE Championship, if I just did it, right? If I won, finally, got this, I think I'd, I think I'd feel complete, right? I, and she's just hip to it. And she looked at me and she goes, no, you'll just want more. And the truth is, the moment he hit three, thinking I'm gonna be expended, I'm done, my soul's left my body, all this Charles Robinson slaps three on the mat, the moment that happened, I felt like just a complete bolt of lightning in my body. Mm. I, I instantly started thinking about all the things I would like to do. Do I want to make a new list with opponents? Do I want to be on both shows? Do I want to change the title? Do I want to add these layers? I just instantly, she was right. I instantly went to what's next. Because to you, you know, we're joking about it, but we don't have the off season. It's one of the special things about us. But I, I want to make sure coming off of Roman's significant run, Oh, you think? Oh, come on. Well, come on. You know what was awkward? And if he's listening to this, he'll know. His ex girlfriend painted that picture uh -huh. of me getting busted open by The Rock, you know? Yeah, and The Rock bought it. It's kind of, yeah, and The Rock bought it. Oh. And I felt bad because I had ghosted. Like, ah, you know. You got to stand by your guy, though. You know what I'm saying? You stand by your boy. MJF's my boy. Shout out to MJF. It's good. Wonderful kid. Wonderful kid, uh, huge, huge, huge future. Uh, I forgot. Do you what remember I was when you threw me into the jackpot when you and MJF were doing your thing over there at AEW? You're like, I think Pat McAfee wants to come to AEW every single week. You remember when you did that to me, Cody? So I remember not only when I did that to you. I remember uh, last night when I apologized for doing that to you. <laughs> <laughs> there is a thing in the business, and it's Brian Danielson put it out there, and I didn't love it at first, but I can lean into it a little bit. There's a thing in the industry called the Cody lie. I don't love the term, <laughs> but I have been known to uh, make hyperbole sure. of things on occasion. The rule is it can never be about anything serious. 
but I, I do like to well, come on. It's it's it was awesome. I just want to let you know. It's it sports awesome. entertainment, we you know, that. it's pro wrestling. You know, you can when the legend becomes fact, you print the legend. But yeah, no, that's uh, I apologize for that, Pat. No, it was awesome. I it was also- jealous of a match that he had because he showed superb athleticism. <laughs> and when I came on here the other day thinking that Pat was gonna be all just abrasive with the bloodline love and the Roman and the tribal Whoa. chief and the acknowledgement and he wasn't he was beautiful and generous and as you all were but I was ready in the pocket in the pocket I was ready to say hey well Pat you know what if I win that title on Sunday maybe we wrestle for that chance I was ready now you have now you can offer oh, we didn't have to do it though <laughs> we didn't have to do it Yes, 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 Triple H is watching this. I'm already in trouble for trying to change the title. <laughs> now I'm trying to, to book a match. I have no power again. Let's stay together. Others it. deserve the match. Obviously, when the time comes, I'll smack the taste out of your mouth, boy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to take that hand and oh. I'm going to go shake Mama Rhodes's hand. Oh my God. <laughs> Get out of here. Well, I guess, okay, if you smack me and then you, you know, you go over and you shake Mama Rhodes, I guess if I beat you, I'll just take over your show. Oh! 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 Hey, ESP, ESPN, you're looking at the new golden boy right here, huh? <laughs> I, think, I think the ESPN people will be pumped about that. You know? <laughs> champ, from what I've been told, champ. No, I'm, uh, I've had too much respect for everything you've done. I've watched you whenever you were at AEW because you're must watch. That's what you became. You built yourself into that. So I've been a fan for a very, very long time. I just, you know, Roman Reigns put some food on the table, you know, for Thunderdome for a long, long time. But I'm nothing but a big fan of yours, pal. Pumped with this. And thank you for the drinks last night. Connor's got a question for you, champ. Yeah, Cody. <laughs> obviously, you just said you know you win the title and you're you're thinking about the next thing. But like today, the conversation is that was the greatest WrestleMania match, possibly just wrestling match of all time. Like when you look at it, yeah, that is that is the conversation today. Like when you look back on it, did you kind of notice or pick up on the storylines that were happening inside of obviously the biggest storyline of the WWE of the past? three years like did, did you see kind of how people reacted to seth being your shield as a shield member where you know roman and his beef you know goes back all the way 10 years and obviously you know cena in the rock in the ring and the rock in undertaker in the ring like all those things unbelievable did, was, was that something that you kind of thought of or kind of could take in after the fact before you answer this we have 20 seconds until we have a hard out on espn we will continue on youtube and espn plus with the American Nightmare, brand new WWE Champion, Cody Rhodes, live here from WWE World. Raw after Mania will be worth a watch tonight. Same with the Natty C tomorrow. All right, anyways. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. All right, so we're still going. Throw to a break, keep going. That's Michael Cole stuff. Anyways. Did you realize in the middle of that match how much was taking place? Because Seth Rollins told you like three weeks ago, I'll be your shield in this entire thing. And then lo and behold, that son of a bitch was your shield. He was your shield at the end of that whole thing. I think one of the most exciting parts about this moment where individuals start showing up is everybody brings something uniquely different. And I had not forgot in a negative way, it just had been some time since I had felt what it's like when John Cena runs down to that ring. It, and and the, the level the level of just energy and, and, and effect and, and his commitment to hearing the people and giving the people what they want, that was something special to see. The Undertaker. Ooh. The Undertaker, who the only real thread with me and The Undertaker is simply that I'm up against one of his opponents. But when I saw The Undertaker, that to me, it just felt like here's the old sheriff, here's the guard, here's the judge, here was 40 years of WrestleMania. And 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 I was really impressed and and blown away and touched at The Undertaker being part of that. And I I won't Undertaker, indeed, yeah. Undertaker! 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 Oh. Hi. 
you gotta you gotta wonder how does it feel when you have the undertaker when you have the final boss the rock oh. um when you have when you when you have these luminary figures and the last thing you're seeing is myself, Roman Reigns, and Seth Rollins. That is a testament to what I have been saying before even AEW. I love the Attitude Era with all my heart. I love the golden age of the 1980s, but we are in the best era ever. Job done against Roman Reigns, and we have a new champion. As all of Philadelphia lost their mind, and the WWE universe rejoiced at the dawn of a new day with a brand new champion who has rebuilt himself numerous times. Hey, this morning, you know, you said you love the responsibility of being the man who's going to carry the company into the future. Here, you're on the Today Show this morning. How was it? Did you crush it? Did you just absolutely <laughs> crush it this morning, Cody? I did feel like I crushed it. Yeah. Yeah, but I cheated a little bit. What do you mean? Whoa. We gave uh, our friends at the Today Show, who was great luck for me because I saw them last week, to be able to come back this morning. We gave them their own championship title. So, oh. you know, had the interview been going south, which it wasn't, lovely people, I at least had the titles, yep. you know? Cody, where's yours, Pat? Oh, are you guys not bringing theirs out? Where? Oh, man. Huh. They must have got lost. Oh, wow. no. That must have sent him to first take hey. on accident. I'm oh. sorry. Oh, whoa, whoa. Cody! Shout out to my man, Stephen A., yo. <laughs> oh, you're the best. Hey, I do think you watch the program. Oh, you, you know it. Yeah, I was telling you last night. Yeah, Ty has a question for you, Cody. I just want to know who's next. Yep. I think... Oh. He's 275 pounds right now. Big. RKO. He's I think awesome. not to not to just kick kick the can down the road, but I think tonight's Monday night raw and Friday night SmackDown will probably inform our audience where we might be heading in the future. Uh, Ooh, good tease. Good tease. It's all it can be at the moment is a, is, 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 is a good tease. But, uh, guys, I mean, you're, you're all around here. You've been here all week. You've enjoyed WrestleMania. I, 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 feel, I don't feel wrong asking you. Follow along. This is where the fun begins. And trust me, I will, I will never lead you guys astray. Thank you, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, our WWE champion, the man who's going to take this company to new heights. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes! take a break in the next hour we'll have lane johnson philadelphia eagle and also jim cantor wow. of the weather channel yeah. breaking down the solar eclipse what does that mean for all of us 
Ladies and gentlemen, we have a live look at the solar eclipse happening live from Mexico here. This is from NASA. Whoa! Oh. 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 look like a jack-o'-lantern! Go look! Go look! Mazatlan? That's in Mazatlan. <laughs> Mazatlan, Mexico. It appears as if the moon's trying to shut that son of a bitch up. Close. Solar eclipse. Obviously, this is a, uh, a monumental day for the people that worry about the weather and the universe and the sky and the stars and sure. everything. Sure, yes. So we'll have Jim Cantor on to tell us what the hell this means. Uh -huh. We'll have Lane Johnson on to tell us how the Philadelphia Eagles are and how he is doing after becoming and helping Rey Mysterio beat the hell out of his kid on Saturday night. We'll be back with a final hour here from WWE World before Raw After Mania kicks off tonight. You are the greatest people on Earth. Be a friend, tell a friend something nice that might change your life. Take Bye. 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 What's isolation? It's four nights of uh, complete uh, darkness. What? Is there a bathroom or you weren't a diaper? You For real. Yeah. Holy shit! Explosive, the thing that really takes it over the top. Jesus fucking Christ. The thing that really takes it over the top. Of a bitch, Mad Mal. Get it together. <laughs> <laughs>
single Thursday, we will be getting the incredible opportunity of chatting with head coach of Alabama, Nick Sam. People are saying you look like the Wayans brothers with the white chicks. Oh, <laughs> no. I'd say it was like a specific person. It's just like, hey, this is a sweet mask that someone spent a lot of time on, I guess. And they had a lot of old man. <laughs> and I love deeper and I... AJ Hawk. Yeah. Hey. Oh. Whoa. Okay, Ooh. here we go. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. I'm trying to figure this whole situation out. Okay, we got a zoom here. Yeah, congrats, we're on ESPN. Awesome, my camera almost worked. <laughs> Small, sweeter, and I. Game forgiveness, I've been denied. That's Live Like You Were Dying. That's that song. <laughs> that song. That's how he wrote it, probably. <laughs> Well, nonetheless, as of February 1st, uh, Pat McAfee is officially a contributor with WWE. I've been preparing for this my entire life. It's time to toast the boys and toast the brand. Back of his wanted to drink beer with Stone Cold forever. Stutter! Stutter! There's a point in my life, all I could think about doing was professional wrestling. McAvee closing in on another WrestleMania victory. Of course, we're gonna have to get the OKs, obviously. And we did from people high up. They were the only people that knew for a while. There was like three people that knew in the whole world that that was gonna potentially be a situation for a little bit. City of Stars, Austin Connors here. We will be there tonight. Nobody's supposed to know we're here. It's gonna be tough. And if you're a man that's only known for wearing tank tops, you kinda gotta cover it up. Take a look around. There's some bunk beds there. You know, there's a shit on a shower here in the back. He sat in that bus six, seven, eight hours, yeah, nine, ten up. hours. I'm telling you, I think. Holy fuck, what a view that's gonna be. Hell yeah. Those fucking people are gonna be there. Just waiting, you know, for an opportunity to potentially have a WrestleMania moment. It's ridiculous. This is awesome. WWE is just like the best at operating. They take care of the non-obvious. So we're very thankful to be here. And tonight should be welcome. Hell yeah. I think there's like three people in here. Are we not supposed to come in here? No. Yeah. Four now. Four Look now. at you. I'm fucking say a word. I'll see you at uh, SoFi. You gonna be in LA? I don't know. George is, uh, you know. It's maybe, a loaded question. George, we don't know. George, you don't know. Maybe. Okay. What's up, stud? Oh, nice. <laughs> As soon as I saw George showcase that yeah. tight end university tank top, I knew there was a chance old George about to do something special. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? Welcome to WrestleMania! You know, the night was getting late. We're sure. Yeah, we, we didn't know if a moment was going to pop up where maybe my services could be utilized. I haven't been in a ring since SummerSlam. Okay, like not even in one. All I wanted was the Miz to have an opportunity to have a match. Just a WrestleMania match. Yeah, yeah. Good guy stand there. And then the Miz mentions, I sent out an open challenge and we go, Oh my god. There it is. And I put out an open challenge. And no one responded. Why? Because I'm the Miz! And I'm awesome! Hey. Let's go! I have walked out into a stadium as a WWE superstar probably a million times in my head. WrestleMania was missing Pat McAfee in the Pat McAfee show. And I'm thankful to the WWE Universe.
person said hello whenever I came out on that massive fucking stage. By the way, there's only two announcers undefeated in WrestleMania history, me and Pat. I can't believe all of these here. Hello, beautiful people. What's up, Snoop? Hey, What's up, man? Snoop? You're a legend, dog. You're the Hello, best. Hey. Why? Let's go. This show stinks, and the fact that you listen, we are very, very thankful for it. <laughs> the all-time leading tackler for the Green Bay Packers, you pink! Damn it! <laughs> Your friend, tell a friend something nice could change their life. We want that! We want that! Sports! 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 Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to WWE World. Here on this solar eclipse of the heart Monday, April 8, 2024, hour three of the program starts now. Sports! Our wonderful, it has been an honor to be here at WrestleMania all weekend as our last hour continues and starts. It has been nothing short of electrifying electric and uh, yeah, it's going to be one that we're going to remember forever. But we are not done here at this convention center as A.J. Hawk rips a plastic <laughs> bottle and happen. Right next to him is Darius J. Butler. And then there's one half of the hammer, Dad. Cowboys Tone Diggs. And then there's one half of the toxic table at Boston Connor. You boys look fantastic. You Thank do too, Pat. Belt buckle's still shimmering today. Oh, yeah. yeah, this thing's getting three straight days of work. It normally doesn't operate in such a high fashion. But here it is uh -huh. doing its thing. This has been a nice WrestleMania belt. And Oh! Oh! WrestleMania snake skins. Woo! These snakes died in their sleep. Yep. I'll never forget it. They lived a nice full life, which I'm very grateful for. And now they make a fantastic snake. Speaking of fantastic, how about a right tackle for the Philadelphia Eagles? An Oklahoma legend, a world champion, a man who alongside Jason Kelsey came out on WrestleMania Saturday and saved Rey Mysterio from his dumb son, Dom. Ladies and gentlemen, Lane Johnson. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Behind Lane is a man named TK. Love that. Oh, oh yes. Oh, thank oh, you. Oh, oh, yeah. Smart. Yeah. It's smart. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Good you. Man. Smart. Are you kidding me? Yeah. This guy's a hero. Wow. Hey. Look at you. He's thank always you. protecting folks, isn't he? No matter what. Always yeah. protecting folks. Okay. On and off the field. This is awesome. Can't I'll tell you anything. what, can't see shit with these on. No. Yeah. Zero. Can't, yeah, please. Let's go ahead and take a little look, see at what the solar eclipse of the heart is doing. Oh, shit. We're at it. Ah. They're doing it. Is that it? Is that a total? I see it. I think so. Uh, in Where is that? In oh, Mazatlan, it is. Mazatlan. Where was it? Where was that filmed? Uh, that from? was Mexico. That was Mexico. Okay. Oh, it's gone. Oh, well, there it is. Oh. It... So something happened, right? The world ended? Not yet. No, no, they're looking for the uh, particles that don't really exist on Earth unless. Anyways, let's move along. We have a guest, uh, Super Bowl champion guest, Lane Johnson. Thank you for joining us, buddy. Well, Lane. Okay, you have a uh, you have a cameraman. You have a cameraman who has his own logo on a hat. He's wearing Shout on his head. Shout out DK. Shout out DK. DK, you're doing it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, DK. DK. I assume and I hope that he's been documenting the entire WrestleMania weekend for you. How has it gone? As a guy who's obviously a massive WWE fan, on Saturday night. You make your luchador debut and save the day for Rey Mysterio. How are you feeling? How's the weekend been? Yeah, so, I mean, the week leading into it, they don't tell you much. They just told us, um, you know, the day of, be there a few hours before. So we got to rehearse, found out what was going down. And then earlier in the week, uh, Kels was, was filming. He was wanting to go to Monster Factory. So go where, you know, Train. training. And so get that. And so we did that for a little bit earlier in the week. Learned some moves, learned some stuff, and then uh, yeah, got the chance to go out, and and man, it was it was awesome. It was fantastic. Now, people are saying it was pretty obvious it was you two the whole time. I think you guys are in good disguise. Yeah, yeah. I think that people are saying, look at the milky luchadors. Who are these guys? Look at all that meat. Who are these guys? They're the biggest yeah. luchadors of all time. Who the hell are these guys? We knew immediately. Those are world champions mm -hmm. underneath those luchador masks. Where's that mask live now that you had on your head during that moment? Uh, it's at the house. Um, so yeah, they handed that uh, you know at the rehearsal. And rehearsal. Yeah, I mean, you really couldn't. There's no rehearsal. No, what are you no, talking no. about? You no, mean yeah. in your mind? Walk yeah, through. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, we couldn't. Uh, 
you couldn't see much out of it. And uh, they <laughs> snuck us there right before the match when the lights went down. And so, yeah, I mean, we kept it on the whole time. So it was, uh, as you see, I, I couldn't even tell. He took his mask off and then I. Then I well, Jason Kelsey is obviously living his best life, yeah. as are you, alongside Ray and the rest of the LWO. Congrats on the hey, 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 you should see that dismount. It was close. Yeah, very close. It was, it was close. Close to what? <laughs> Busting his ass. Oh, yeah. Well, he jumped over. He did the hey, best. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, he went over the top of the rope. He felt very good. You guys crushed it, just like you do everything. Let's talk about what life looks like without Jason Kelsey next year yeah. with the Philadelphia Eagles. Obviously, you and him are very close. There's a picture in one of the hallways of the Philadelphia of the link and it's Jason Kelsey running out of the tunnel and then literally Ray Johnson right yeah, there you yeah. two are like a tag team obviously yeah. and have been for one of the greatest offensive lines in the NFL for the last five six years what's it gonna be like without him and have you thought about life without him around every single day he was my tag team jump the snout uh jump the snap count partner for 11 years yeah, off yeah. Sides. Uh -huh. exactly so now hey this is going to be an interesting year. Got to get a new cadence. Uh -huh. You know, there's going to be a lot of eyes. You know, last year I thought I was going to get 58 penalties. I got about about eight. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm really worried about. Um, but, yeah, having him retire, Fletch, I mean, really, it's, it's Jake, Rick Lovato, and, and Brandon Graham that's left for the Super Bowl team. So, uh, yeah, but excited. Uh, excited about some of the new additions. Uh, excited about the draft coming up. So, um, you know, hopefully this will this will be a, a big season for us. Is Big Dom okay? I saw him with a boot on. I think I saw him with a boot I, on. I think it, I think he just had foot surgery. I'm not sure if it was Liz Frank, but uh, it looked pretty bad. Big Dom, we're happy to see you back. Yeah. He's peace. Yeah. He, needs, he needs to be back. Big Dom needs to be back. AJ's got a question for you, Lane. Lane, how's Coach Sirianni doing? We're big fans of Coach yeah. here on this program, and we we heard the whole situation when Big Dom gets taken off the sidelines, all of this stuff. How much he actually helps the coach? What's yeah. it going to be like this year? And what, how do you think the off is going to start up with? you guys and like what does he bring to the table coach Sirianni that other coaches might not do uh, I just think he's a great communicator um, you know from top to bottom so throughout the struggles even in the late part of the year we were very vocal with each other obviously couldn't get a good plan together to fix it but at the same time you knew where you stood um, and then yeah I mean big big Dom has a big responsibility every year uh, we have a pretty good track record with uh, you know guys not having too much trouble in the offseason so Dom works a lot, and then during the season, you know, there's a lot going on. He's got to protect a lot of people, but he is like the team's Papa Bear. If you have any problems, any of that, he's there. Hell Legend. yeah. Hell yeah. Legend. Oh, Papa Bear Dom. <laughs> he's so Paisano, it's ridiculous. Yeah. The glasses, the hat, Every, the walk, and, and everywhere, the everywhere he goes downtown, everybody's like the mayor of Philadelphia. Uh, yeah, right? What's going on, you know? Good for him. Yeah, exactly. Big Dom, we wish you were in Indianapolis for sure. D-Butt's got a question for you, Lee. Yeah, first of all, uh, you're a triple OG now in the league and on your team. How does the body feel and what was your first reaction when you found out Saquon Barkley was coming uh, over from division my Robert first reaction was how in the hell they let him go and, <laughs> yeah. and especially to us uh, so yeah I mean the body's feeling good no surgeries so really um, you know from that standpoint I had a, I had a pretty good healthy year yep. but yeah man excited about the guys that we we brought in the uh, drafts not too far away so um, you know on paper we look good but uh, we start OTAs, I think, here next week, two weeks. Yeah, of course, you know. Sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we have that. And then, <laughs> and then mandatory. Yeah, mandatory. I said mandatory. Yeah, yeah, you'll be there. Yep. Yep. I'll be there. Yep. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, a few weeks later, I'll be uh, ready for season. Okay, Tone's got a question for you, Lane. Yeah, Lane, uh, CJ, GJ, Chauncey Gardner-Johnson back yes. on, on your team. He said something about some things about the uh, Eagles fans. Do you think that's going to be water on the bridge? Eagles fans will forget about that as soon as he makes play? Or? <laughs> yeah, some, you know, sometimes you say some bad things to your family. You know, <laughs> yeah, some, stuff, right. some stuff you, you like to have back. So, yeah, we've all been there. been there earlier in my career. So, um, what I do like about having him back is just how passionate he is you can see it he does he brings a lot of energy to the group do you think you guys lost edge last year what do you think uh, yeah when you lose your last six or seven you lose something we is lost it the edge? edge what is it hey, we lost edge we lost hair and we lost sleep <laughs> yeah. hey, we lost a lot uh so yeah man it just it, it became where games that were usually pretty easy to manage we were just getting blown out and it was like we had a pretty good ship going i don't know where the you know the directions of it is headed but i know we battled i know it wasn't an effort problem and uh you know sometimes later in the year you play a lot of good teams it's bound to happen so uh moving forward though um it's gonna be a big year i mean um you know quick turnaround here so 
Yeah, man, I'm excited. Okay, uh, Connor's got a question for you, Lane. Yeah, with those changes, obviously you guys, new OC, new DC, Kellen Moore comes to town, Fangio yeah. too, but obviously Kellen affects you. Have you had more dialogue with him, or is that something offensive line uh, doesn't really work? No, no, I haven't got to talk to him. But oh, no, he uh, hates you. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, no. Kellen Moore hates right. offensive linemen. Oh, it, it, like Lane Johnson more specifically. Classic it, quarterback. Yeah, it's a, it's a slow uh, slow error right now. We're not really communicating to OTA, so I don't know. Uh, but, no, I, I remember growing up, him at Boise State. Oh, yeah. Uh, setting all these records the man uh and he's really had a lot of success in the league yep. um i know he does a lot of things uh, pre-snap lots of motions trying to disguise so uh i think his track record speaks for itself um i heard he's a very vocal guy too so yeah i'm, I'm looking forward to see how it all blends okay you brought us these because you're always you uh, willing to protect somebody hey, amen can't see shit out of these. I didn't oh, know these yeah. were real. I thought yeah. this was all fake, a gimmick. Nope. You know, I thought it was just bullshit. Why is everybody putting this cardboard on their face? It's a real deal. But you protect people. That's what you do for a living at a very high level. You jump off sides, everybody else says, but well, you're right on time. I say then you put them glasses on and watch the game. Hey, well, you know, this is what some of the refs do have on whenever you're <laughs> jumping off sides. It seems like it's what everybody's saying. But the guy you protect, Jalen Hurts, obviously uh, gets a massive deal. Yeah. Everybody starts talking about how the end of the season is. What do you expect from Jalen from what you know from him for this upcoming season? And how do you think he's handled all this? All this? You know, a lot of change, I guess. Yeah. Um, well, I know he's getting with the guys. So, as you know, being a part of the team, you have like your own line, D line, and then the offensive and defensive guys kind of separate. So, I know they're working out in Houston right now, uh, getting ready. Um, you know, I think having Saquon here is going to take pressure off everybody. Um, having a guy that dynamic ability in the backfield. Be able to take some pressure off a lot of guys, but you know, as far as uh, Jalen, he's always he's always worked. Nothing's really changed from that. I feel like he does a good job of ignoring the noise uh, as best that he can. So, how long did you guys not have those glasses on? I, I was sitting over here, I couldn't see anything. Well, yeah, yeah that's why well, we had thirty them too. seconds. Yeah. I thought these. I didn't think that. I thought you just walk outside with normal glasses. Apparently, that's not true. I was yeah, over, well, you can't I, see like, shit. I, now, I, ta I talked about twelve Philly scientists on the street, and they said you got to have them glasses on, or you're, you're going to be blinded. So it's a big day. The solar eclipse in the heart. Huge. Yeah, it's huge. How do you feel about the city of Philly? Obviously, you're going to have to say you love them. But whenever Jason yeah. Kelsey gave his retirement speech, he talked about like his interaction with the city of Philly and how the city of Philly can make you better. Do you feel like that's happened with you? He told a story about Zach Ertz where Zach Ertz, you know, shot away and rightfully so, he says yeah. in the retirement speech, Philly killed him. And then Zach Ertz became the monster that he is. It's almost like Philly made him. Do you feel that way about Philly and you? Yeah, no, I feel like it's a town where you really have to earn your keep uh, year to year. And I feel like just the fan base, the amount of tension that is on football, it makes players kind of play to their best ability. You know, you're always uh, being watched, but no, it's it's been fun, a learning experience. I remember first getting drafted, how intimidating it was, you know, um, and just you know the notable seasons that they had. So, but yeah, man, this is home now. I mean, I, I love it, um, and there's really no place like it. Um, I mean, it's kind of like Texas when it comes to just intensity, but um, I mean, you're forever, forever loved around here. So um, it's mutual. Yeah, well, you're. World champion. Hell yeah. That helps. Khan's got a question for you. Yeah, Lane, has this been the greatest offseason in the history of your career and possibly every offensive lineman because Aaron Donald is no longer playing in the NFL? Hey, or man. Is that, hey, that's hey, man. Congrats on, on a great career, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Way to go. Could have retired years ago is what every offensive lineman I mean, every every NFL club hired a team psychiatrist because hey, he, he was the main guy bringing them in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there any other guys, D line? across the league that ah oh, man they are i mean miles uh micah tj nick i mean all those i mean just max crosby uh i just feel like uh the guys that we have in the league there's a lot of well-rounded guys and are each a little bit different like you know you look at max a little kind of like t um, um jared allen a little bit just uh he's white yeah right he's white well? no just ben like his, his amount of ben for a white dude and his work ethic and his work ethic and his swag you know he's bringing it back pale. first one in like yeah, last one out yeah, hard hat guy say. Yeah. Probably ride a horse if you had to. Sure. Yeah, uh, spear and elk. Did you see that? Yeah, we, yep. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. yeah, Max could do that if he had to. AJ's yeah. got one for you, Lane. What's it like with Jalen Hurts at the helm? When we see him, he seems like this handsome dude that has everything. It's all like everything seems perfect. He, has, he always says the right thing. He seems to be like the consummate leader in what you guys are doing. Like, what's he like as a QB, not only on the field but off the field? Uh, Friday Night Lights. You remember Preacher Man, the uh, demon yeah. man that didn't oh, say yeah. a lot? Yes, 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 yes. Ivory? Yeah, Ivory Christian, yeah. He's like him, a little bit more vocal, but still same. Like, we have work to be done. We're not finished yet. 
Uh, but no, I, I mean, I kind of like that. I, I respect just um, how he approaches day to day. He's in there grinding, he's lifting, he's strong. It's like, uh, hey man, you got my respect. And then I just think from an old line perspective, he helps us out being able to escape leg. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's what guys are looking for now. Are you more jacked than you've ever been? Or you feel? You I look, man, I, I lost probably 15 pounds, so trying to lose why, the fluff. Why? How? Because we had to take our shirts off, it would look better. <laughs> so. Oh, so you lost 15 pounds for Mania? Yeah. Well, thank and, you. For, uh, thank you. Thank you. Well, I, yeah. You got mania That's shape. That's mania, baby. Well, I knew I knew about it for two weeks, so I had two weeks to just kind of cut the cobs out and lose the uh, the QB jacket. What you do immediately afterwards? <laughs> oh fuck! It was uh, yeah. I had a night last night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That you could. Yeah. I'm back on track. Shout to Gabe, by the way. Shout to Gabe. Gabe, strength coach for Lane Johnson. Yep. He's. I mean, you start digging into his history. Dog. Yeah. Absolute dog. Now he's got he a was, train. He was talking about Coachella coming up and how y'all went one year. We had no tickets. We so had tickets. I, they were left an hour and a half or two hours away. So what happened? Did you miss a concert or did you have somebody go get them tickets? Yeah, somebody hopped in a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't flying out to the desert for nothing. What are we hey, talking about? Hey. I had to sit at a local bar for like four hours as this helicopter goes back to get our tickets, comes all the way back. Real banged up. I mean, we got real banged up as we got in there. But Gabe's a good man. Always has been. He's yeah. been your right hand guy, seemingly. Yeah, yeah. I, I hired him like in '18. I uh, met him in like 2013, 14. So he's out in LA. And so, uh, yeah, man. I just as I started getting banged up, I was like, I didn't take. I mean, I always worked out, but just like being regimented, keeping. You know, I think Tom Brady can miss a lot of guys to. Uh, sure. You know, hey, then maybe we should take it more serious. You know, so shout out him. Yeah, shout out to Gabe. Uh, I believe I don't want to out too much. Former Marine sniper. Ooh. Oh, is that right? The, the few, the proud. Yeah. Amen. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Ah! Sniper, though. You know? Yeah. yeah you yeah. know, like, yeah. also ridiculously handsome. Ridiculously handsome. Hey, yeah, that shower. It's got about 10, uh, 10 skincare products. Sometimes I'll steal okay. them. Yeah, a little okay. pop of two, <laughs> yeah, I think he's on. Yeah. But he can also go if you need to. Like, yeah. all, he can, you know. Need that. Yeah, he's an absolute He's beast. a work dog, too, yeah. All right, Lane. Uh, you're technically, we'll consider it undefeated at WrestleMania. Yep. What's Congrats. next? Are we getting on a title run? Or are we going to try to look for a United States Championship right. next? What's the future with wrestling, you think? Yeah, my eyes are definitely going to be on it. Uh, maybe from a distance, but, uh, you know, when the time's right, hey, I'll be lurking. So. Uh, hey, we appreciate you so much stopping by. You were great on Saturday. You're great now. You're great on Sundays. What? Mondays. What? Thursdays. What? Wednesdays. What? Saturdays. What? In America. What? Uh, Canada. What? Mexico. What? England. What? Germany. What? Yeah, Brazil to open the season this yeah, year. Yeah, Brazil. Hey, th this is the first time I got to see AJ since like my rookie year. I remember pulling, uh, I don't know if it was a power, and I teed off, and he just flat back me. So if we get a chance to look at that clip, that. no, that I remember. Here we go. I, no, I was coming off a tee block. I stood up high, and AJ just wow. Oh, I don't know if it's seen, out there, but if you get a chance to look it up, hey, have you I, seen I remember this clip? It. Have you seen this clip on the internet since then? No. Okay, so we're probably not going to be able to find it. If this was okay. easily findable on the internet, yeah, no, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get it. We'll find it. I'll, I'll go to the archives and get it. What did he do? He put his uh, helmet he, to helmet? Yeah, he, before your shoulders got turned, I, hopefully. I, I, I think it was to. the Rydell sticker. He made an imprint on my jersey, so I had... And then what did he do afterwards? <laughs> he laughed? <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. No, we were going so damn fast with Chip, but we probably got to line Chip of scrimmage Kelly, yeah, and ran another one. Three more hey, seconds. We're all dead tired. Exactly, yeah. yeah. How was that? You've kind of evolved through... I mean, you've been through a lot of different football here. Yeah, I, I think the cool thing about it is just seeing all these players, obviously in different eras. Like, I got to see, you know, the OGs when I came in and now just, you know, the faces of the NFL changing. And so I think just being a part of all that and then, uh, yeah, now um, being an older guy, you just kind of be more wary of, you know, how you present yourself in the building. You have a lot of the young guys looking, so. Got to be zinned up, though, it looks Yeah. Like. You got to be zinned up, you got to be focused, and you got to have, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got you to be dialed in. So, uh, and you got to be offsides. You yeah, got to well, be offsides, and you, and you got to be uh, consistent with it. So did you watch some of those and think to yourself, ah, that's probably I, I'm fine. going. I know this guy's getting fine because, yeah, there was definitely one, a couple of them in the uh, playoff game that was like, what are you doing? Throw that shit on me. Bro. <laughs> 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 you're, only making, you're only making it worse for me. Ladies and gentlemen, world champion tackle for the Philadelphia Eagles. Legend. Lane Johnson. Yeah, yeah, Lane. Yeah, Lane. Watch your trash can. Watch your trash can. Got a boy, Wade. Thank you, big man. Thanks for the goggles, glasses. Got a boy, Wade. Okay, How about you, Lane? Hey, got a boy, Wade. Lane Johnson. Wade. Uh, yeah. Oklahoma Sooner. Wade. Wade. World champion. Wade. Wade.
Walking around with the cameraman has his own logo on his hat. Yeah, DK, sweet. huh? Kind of scares me immediately, but I'm sure he's going to make a good documentary. What but, scares you about that? Huh? What scares you? Just like, who are you? Yeah, like an LJ hat. Would Where are these tapes sick. going? You haven't seen Foxy's logo yet? Foxy should have a logo. He yeah, should. Uh, a Foxy flick, but DK yeah, is never a in a million years, boys. Oh. Foxy, yeah, uh, but, come on. Never Foxy, when this whole thing, no, you did. Foxy, when this whole thing's done, you're gonna have Foxy flicks. You're gonna be the next Scorsese. Yeah, yeah, yeah should no, be a baby. I'm behind the camera for a reason. I want nobody to know about me forever. Yeah, shut up. You Scorsese. Yeah, yeah. Scorsese, Fox. Who cut the camera to you right there? Speaking uh -oh. of the back room, <laughs> speaking of the back room, thank you all, boys. You shut know. up. Fossa with a fist pump. Oh, yeah, yeah. that may be Foss. Fossa with a fist pump with the uh, with the tatted arm. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Bruce over there in the corner. He performed well backstage on uh, Saturday night. <laughs> yes, he did. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just walking around, did had himself an evening. Uh, the Bob, you know the Blackout Boys. Yeah, <laughs> yep. They were out there doing. It. They were out there doing mm -hmm. it, talking Mick, killing it. Yep. Oh. The baby boys. Oh yeah. Dirty has, has seen. WrestleMania now from the top row yep. and from <laughs> and the, the first. floor. Yep. Yeah, missed the ride on the first day, so that baby dirty. Yeah, baby dirty. Dirty. CD baby obviously making magic. Same with you, Foxy. We appreciate you all so much. And to the crew, including Kelton, who's been with us a few different times. Thank you guys for doing this. Wrapping up on this Solar Eclipse of the Heart Monday. One man that can tell us what the hell is going on. Ladies and gentlemen, he's Italian. And he almost reads the Doppler as good as Joe DiNardo. <laughs> Rest in peace. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Weather Channel, Jim Cantor. Yeah. 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 What's going on, guys? Holy shit, what Jim. What a day. How are, you, a day. how are you doing? You look amazing. Your goggles are a little bit different than ours. Are you? What, what the hell do you have going on there? Are those the fish? Dude, you know what these are? Huh? Take a guess. Anybody know? Somebody guess. From Oppenheimer. Take a look. The welding? Welder's glasses. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. me. You can use these. You can use these. They're welder's glasses. Absolutely. Okay. It yeah. Looks fantastic. Yeah, because if you're getting with the Tager or the Meg or yeah. whatever you you're yeah, doing, yeah. there's going to be fire. Is that why we can't look up at it directly, right? Because it's basically the power of the entire right. sun going into our yes. eyeballs. What is the significance exactly. of this? Exactly. And this is a once in a lifetime. What do we have going on here today, Jim? Why do we need to respect this more than any other eclipse that we see? Well, you just get to study some more of the sun. And the fact that you have so much sunspot activity means that scientists can go up there and they can look at that corona, which we've seen already at Mazatlan, all right? If you see it come in to the United States now, we're looking at Russellville, Kansas, getting ready to go into or Russellville, Arkansas, getting ready to go into totality. Then it's Carbondale. Then we'll get it up here in Indy. You guys got to put, you know, get outside and check this thing out. But look at the speedway. Look at this place. Yeah. 50,000 strong. Okay, I like that. What is that? That look sounds. At that, look at that trophy right there. Yeah, that that's now. They running today. Warmaker yeah, trophy, right trophy right, right there. Uh -huh. right. It's obviously for the Indy 500 champion. We have a live shot right now, I believe, from Texas. I believe it's down in Texas right now. It is. Okay. Yep, there it is. That's gone. That's it. It's eclipsed. Oh, oh, that's oh, wow. That's Kerrville. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so there. So go ahead. there in totality. Okay, Jim, Indianapolis is the spot. We've been hearing about it for like the last two weeks as Indianapolis natives. Is it just because of like, it's gonna perfectly line up in Indy or why is Indy the epicenter? Yeah, it, well, it's one of the path, it's one of the cities in the path of totality. Okay, look at that, man. You just watched uh, all these beads, diamond ring, and boom, now you're into totality. Wow. That is awesome. And of course, with that, oh. you can see the corona around the sun, and that's what the scientists are trying to study. But, you know, basically, from where we're lined up, our, our Weather Channel teams, from Fredericksburg to Dallas to Little Rock to Carbondale, to, you know, Russellville, Arkansas, as we talked about, which is where it is now, up to Indy, Buffalo, Cleveland, uh, Holton, Maine, which should have the best viewing, simply because of the fact, guys, that they're going to have the blue sky after that big snowstorm they had the other day. So we've got a little high cloud in through here, but we're still going to see a whole heck of a lot. This okay. is just awesome. You, you talked about a pump up, baby. Hell this yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, Jim. We're pumped oh. up about solar eclipses. as well. Oh. Why is um, why is NASA launching why is NASA launching rockets up into the sky while this is taking place, Jim? They wanted to see what's happening with the atmosphere when you block out the sun. We just don't get to do that that often. 
right? Oh. And so that's what they're doing. And I mean, look at this corona. Look at this thing. Uh, and, and, and I'm learning a lot here. We have astrophysicists with us. Say that one three times fast. Uh, same as Dr. Paul Sutter, and he's saying, Jim, we just don't get a chance to look at the corona like this, especially when you have a total solar eclipse with a lot of sunspot activity. And that's what we've got so far. Amazing. It, lo it looks like the sun has a WWE entrance right now. It does. <laughs> you know, like kind yeah. of uh, putting a little little curtain in front of it all as it makes its big debut on the other side. Jim, enjoy the hell out of Indianapolis. We appreciate your Thanks, big break. Brother. Hey, is Thank the world going to end, Jim? Is the world going to end? No, the world's not going to end. Just stay tuned to the Weather Channel. We're following this thing all the way to Maine. All right. World's not ending. That's good right. news. Ladies and gentlemen, Jim Thank Campbell. Thank you, Jim. Jim. Yeah, we're I mean, you could see why awesome. back in the day people would look up at the sky and think the world yes. is ending, though, looking at that sun. I always think about, like, the first time this happened. Bingo. How about the first time, like... A thunderstorm in, happened. In the mid... Boom. How about in the Midwest, where the sun leaves for five months? Sure. Yeah. They'd be like, oh, we're dead. We're dead. <laughs> we're, the sun's <laughs> never coming back. This is how this is going to go. Excited for today, obviously, the solar eclipse, which is making its way across the country now. Look up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's the moon and the sun mm -hmm. at the same damn time. What a day. Jim Cantori, thank you for making time with your welding glasses on. Big shout out to the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes Absolutely. for coming by here. Big shout out to John Cena for stopping by here. Big shout out to Awesome Truth for right. stopping by here. Lane Johnson for stopping by here. To all of you that stuck by and stuck with us. To AJ Hawk, t -Buck. Boys, I appreciate you sharing in the joy that is WrestleMania weekend alongside of us. You're the best, genuinely. Appreciate you, Thank brother. You, brother. Thanks for having us here. Great work, by yeah. the way. And you have Raw tonight. Good luck tonight. Ooh. Three more hours. Go. Three more hours tonight. We've been going. This big, is a big week. Biggest, biggest big week slash weekend. It's a whole week, but yeah, this, this whole thing is this is my first time ever being at a WrestleMania. This is unbelievable. Oh, okay, really welcome. Cool. Welcome. Super Come ready. back. You're welcome anytime. Tom Diggs, great work. Thank you, brother. Being spineless and going to the yep. winning side just within the last 48 hours of the Cody story, you got to experience the highest of highs. That has to feel pretty good. Yeah, spineless or, you know, a lot of people are saying just smart. You know, looking at a champion and knowing a champion. Official bet for tonight for the championship. UConn. Minus seven and a half? Let me go UConn second half. Okay, UConn second half, whatever it is. I assume it's three and a half, four, somewhere around there. Okay, sweet. Official bet. Now, Toxic Table. You boys are going to be in WWE 2K24. Whoa. Everybody here in WWE Universe is pumped about yes. it. Oh, yeah, definitely. A lot of the people that have been walking around this particular, you know, WWE world have been tweeting nothing but positive things about you guys being in there. Yep. Connor, what'd you learn for your WWE 2K character this weekend that maybe you didn't know before? Uh, I learned, and I think this is probably from Awesome Truth, that the road is long and the, the road is hard. But in the end, when you have your moment, and, and you can be the champ, and you can. And when we do hoist those, not only Raw tag team titles, but also SmackDown tag team titles, right. that'll be worth it in the end. And then you got to take it all in. But also, seriously, you, thank you for yep. all this shit this entire weekend. It's cool to be able to actually sit behind you yeah. and watch yeah. everything. Like we get to watch at home a lot of the times, and like that's one thing. But to like be a part of it, because the crowd, like you always say, is a part of oh, the yeah. match. To be able to be a part of a WrestleMania, especially the biggest of all time. Like thank you for having hey, us no here. Hey, no problem. We're lucky to be here. That. Lucky to be here. Yep. Ty, obviously, Roman Reigns loses. This is night. In a weekend that will remember forever, how will you remember WrestleMania weekend that isn't done yet? Raw after Mania is still a part of the whole thing. Not done yet. Um, as maybe one of the biggest John Cena marks of all time. I mean, him coming up here on the stage and basically saying like, "Hey, listen, yep, I got another chapter to write in this book." So I don't. I mean, I don't know. Next year at, at Mania, are we going to get Cody Rhodes versus Cena main event? What? Oh. I don't know. Chance? It's certainly possible, but no. Yeah, like Connor said, like. For watching it for so long to be able to, I mean, shit, during Cody and Roman, like, they're literally right here. Like, we're, wa we're watching them two inches away. Like, it just, growing up, you never think you'd have an opportunity to be in that situation. So, this weekend is, I don't know, nostalgia and everything. It's just, it's the fucking best. It's awesome. Yep. Uh, I've lived the dumbest life of all time, the luckiest life of all time. And I continue to try and enjoy literally every single second of it. It was really easy this weekend. This yeah. weekend was awesome. Yeah, it was. Oh, yeah. Thank you to the WWE for the hospitality and for putting on such amazing shit. Thank you to 
joining ESPN for setting this up. Thank you to all of you that watch, that allow us to do this for a living. We're the luckiest humans on earth. Now, WrestleMania weekend wraps up tonight on USA Network at 8 p.m. Eastern with the Raw After Mania, which is always fucking huge. Yep. So tonight should be absurd. Our lives are dumb, but we're very grateful. We'll see you tomorrow with an overreaction Tuesday Ooh. to the Men's National Championship and also Raw After Mania. Be a friend, tell a friend something nice. It might change their life. We're in this thing together, and I think this weekend has showcased the community of pro wrestling is how everywhere should be. Yep. We're a community. Team on me, team on three. One, two, three, team. team. Goodbye.